Hey, welcome everyone. Join us on Mega 6420, another April 20th event. Mega 64 is taking you oh, yeah. on a journey to join the virtual boys. This April 20th, 420, we're going on another trip. Starting at noon, this is Saturday, April 20th, we're going to invite you to leave your physical space oh. and go on a psychedelic journey through the oh. cyber streams. Turn off your mind and float upstream. It is not dying, it is streaming. Join us, Mega 6420 Virtual Boys on April 20th. I almost said February. After no, that whole that. plug, you after did, that you whole plug, it. I almost well, said the wrong month. Oh, you it's nailed Valentine's it. Day. Can you, do you think it's a coincidence that we're doing it on April 20th? Or, or is April that, 20th? do we plan that? What month is April? April. Uh, January, February, I March, think... April. Oh, it's the fourth. Um, okay. I don't think there's a coincidence. Okay, that was planned. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Cannot wait. It's going to be a good one. I'm excited for it. The programming we got, we got lined up, you have no idea. What, yeah. You you think you know? You have no idea. Just like Kurt Loder used to say, you have no idea. Kurt Loder did that? No, I just made that up. Oh, okay. Because no. <laughs> I remember him going. <laughs> that was behind the music on VH1. Next on MTV News, we go to Mo Rocca. It wasn't actually. It was True Life on MTV. <sighs> you thought it was behind the music. But what's what's, what's the behind the music tagline? That was VH1. It didn't have one. That was VH1. It did have one. You're thinking of pop up video. No, that's yeah, no. You're thinking about BET. I used to love pop up video. I did too. I Me love too. That was a great loved. show. That was a great Why does that not air anywhere? There's some music videos. Pop up video was great. You know, I know that oh, MTV only play ridiculousness, which they do. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's stupid. I agree. Mm -hmm. But there are music videos I out there. I think there Dude. is a pop up video like streaming okay. channel. Really? Yeah. No one take my fucking idea. Yeah, none of you. Not one of you. But. <laughs> If someone out there is looking for a music video for their band, hit yeah. me up and I'm going to make your video a pop-up music video and tell you how oh, I made the video in the music that video. That is a good so that cool. is a good concept. Cool. Thank you. And again, <laughs> this lead singer divorced right before filming. Do not steal my idea anyone. This is okay. my idea. You're going to coin. And if you see anyone else do this, you let me know. They can just book this through your cameo too. <laughs> One and done. <laughs> Eric says, yeah, timely. It's this is timely. Yeah, pop-up video, video is dope. so irrelevant right now that it's relevant. I'm, yeah, I'm, I actually agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I'm you're done on. Killing it. It's time God, to bring it I'm back. so fucking smart. Sometimes that hurts me. Pop-up video. Time that was to bring a good it back. Show, it was. Man. It was a great show. I fuck. learned so much from that. Yeah, I used to like the um the one where they make the music video and then like they had the world premiere at the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that make, was fun yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making the well, video was it just making the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, making the video was cool and. Again, that all came at a time where it was a little harder to find out how they made stuff. You yeah. know, now, I mean, around that same time, we started to get the rise of DVD and things like that, where it was like, okay, now you have behind the scenes falling out your ears. Yeah, yeah. special but features But that was still kind of special when yeah. that came out, where it was like, you know, I learned about directors like Joseph Kahn and mm -hmm. and uh, other, other people who, I mean, that was their whole career. So it was like, how do I tell a story real short? How do I, uh, you know... What kind of lens do I use? Oh, I want to go through the handle of this uh, lemonade jar jug. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll use a, uh, uh, what do they call it? A uh, telescope? What? Uh, Classical. Snor no, snorkel lens. Oh. A little lens that goes through. You know, it was like, I'm learning this shit from yeah, MTV. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, if you want to watch it, you just learn how to watch a TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> how to laugh at a TikTok like yeah. Chanel West Coast. Yeah. I don't know. You went too far. I don't know what that means. All right. But I'm going to research it during the theme song. Love that theme song. Welcome. Yeah. Yes. Welcome back. You know what I've been really high on watching lately? Wait, wait, Drug. you get high now? No. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Padre. God. Sorry. Oh, Eric is asking the research went. It went great. Garrett told me. <laughs> 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 Obviously, the co-host on I say Ridiculousness. About and what I describe her as. That she doesn't laugh that often. They don't go to her that much. Yeah. That's what he told me. Well, no. she's there to laugh. She laughs and they don't talk they to don't her They don't talk much. to her that much. That was the research. <laughs> yeah. So that's... Yeah. Um, is I've 
been going on YouTube and watching 80, 1980s episodes of The Price is Right, and it's like, oh, oh cool. whoa. Oh, so, yeah. Dude, my aunt was on one of those. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. She won a fur coat, it like was, a real mink oh, fur coat. So fucking the kind relaxing. Peta hates. It, and they leave the commercials in, and it's all 80s commercials. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's and dope. There are like hundreds of episodes just for me to go through, and it's like, oh, oh this shit that's is so like, cool. yeah. I feel like I'm like at home from school. Yeah, leaving the commercials oh. in is great. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. That's Isn't a, that's it a cherry funny? on top? Commercials are the one thing that are better expired. Yes. Really? Like, oh, yeah. What, really? Commercials right now, oh my God, skip this shit. Mm -hmm. But then when you see a recording from something 20 drugs. years later, yeah. it's like, all oh, the commercials oh, are in. Yes. yes. It's so, isn't um, that yep. funny? Yeah, they fine with age. age. <laughs> yeah. There's it's like, like, wine. like fine wine. Yeah. Where are you watching these? <laughs> On YouTube. Okay. There's one episode that I found though that I was just watching, me and uh, Sawyer and Lena were just watching at home. And I think Jenny walked in for one second and they come back from commercial and they just show a kid in the audience and I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what the fuck was up with this kid. That's why the cameraman showed them on a close It up was too. like, is... <laughs> Interesting looking. Is she going through like a chicken pox outbreak or oh, what no. is like, it was like, oh, and like, no. did okay. she get in some crazy car accident? Like what? Oh, no. Why are we seeing this? But then I'm looking at the episode <laughs> and accident. this one in particular has like 150,000 more views than any other thing. <laughs> oh. And the comments are turned off. And oh, I'm thinking like, that's it. It's the, I yeah. think it's because of this kid. Yeah, it's that, it yeah. was such a jump scare. I should oh, find it and show you guys. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, what the? Fuck Pizza happened. the Hut all of a sudden is I, she, it. it <laughs> honestly, I, and again, I know I'm being very mean. Although this person is older than me, oh. but um, it looks like the girl from The Exorcist. <laughs> oh, it oh looks man! Like oh. she has been possessed. <laughs> <A> Pazuzu? <laughs> no, Bob that, Barker's a, running for the that's hills. A shame. <laughs> oh. Anyways, that's my new GM is watching that. Is Damn. he uh is Bob Barker, you know, he's he's kind of younger uh in yeah. this, right? <laughs> he yeah, definitely he has he's not, got a little more pizzazz. He is fucking feisty. He's feisty. And Does he's he like do giving shit to people. Oh. And like, okay. you know, like he's like, like Steve Harvey. Guy, you know, you have to spin that big wheel and if it doesn't go around, like you have to spin again. Oh, he makes fun of the guys. But the guy's like, well, I didn't know we had the where well, you're from, Kansas City. We have the world's biggest wuss from Kansas City here. <laughs> Give it a real spin. It's oh, like, oh, he's like that. Called cool. you a wuss on TV. Yeah. yeah. From everyone. Damn. Yeah. Uh, but he's oh, like man. definitely has doesn't have the white hair yet, but you can tell he's dying it, you know. Does he do the weird thing? Like there were some game show hosts where uh like they'd call the contestant up and the men he would like hand them like the thing, but some of the women he'd be like, It's in my front pocket here. I, I haven't seen that yet, but the of girls always come up and like give him a kiss on the cheek. Oh, yeah, really? see, that's... Oh, but like, yeah. Why but, do they give him a kiss? But he's not the one instigating it. They just kiss him. Like, uh, I don't... You, but they I all do it? Them. Not all of them. Okay. But I'd say most of them do. Maybe it's for good luck. Give a little kiss to Bob yeah, Barker. The video James in the chat is saying he's such a dick in the episodes, but it, it is very funny. That's he's cool. very funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I don't know why I started this He knows topic, what he's but doing. I can't wait to find you that girl. It was fucking wild. Yeah, I'll have to say that out. Can you put that in the show? I don't know if you can. And the comments are turned off. <laughs> oh man isn't it funny that sometimes you see the comments off on a video and you oh i know why you know? yep yeah that happens That's to true. me again uh a lot of times when i'm trying to fall asleep i will watch like medical videos like i'm not talking like a surgery or anything <laughs> yeah. nothing <laughs> gross Sex changes anything. yeah but you know like uh you know fucking cranial nerve exam okay uh just you know follow my finger okay oh, that really? knocks me out puts me to sleep uh, and some sometimes it's chiropractic video. Okay, well, you know, your SI joints or, you know, whatever. But then you'll get to one where it's like a, a like attractive girl in like like yoga pants and yoga, like out, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. oh, comments are off. Gee, I wonder why they turn the comments <laughs> off. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking creep just yep. probably uh, ruined that. Like, yep. yeah, okay, nice? never mind. Shouldn't have uploaded this. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that. Uh, there always is, yeah. There's always the one thing, and they, so you know, you never, you never can tell. Yeah, I think the the person is probably upload that episode thinking it was all innocent, and then realize like, oh fuck, everyone's just talking shit on this. I mean, I'm just guessing. You're 100 percent right, though. I mean, right? Yeah. You you got it. You nailed it. It's yeah. human nature to be like, what happened to this kid? But why would the cameraman start with that? Like, what? Uh, well, that <laughs> is the funny part that the cameraman hits you with that jump scare. Hey, do you want to see it? I do. I do have. Uh, it. Oh, you're is gonna it, pull it that, up? Yeah, I have. It. I mean, they can't see it. But yeah, we see. should show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, but you ignore this commercial. Kibble's also, check, okay, 
Check out my new phone case. It's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah that is a yeah. phone case. Phone case. Cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You don't have a cow, man. What <laughs> happened to her? Why did they start on Why? that? Why? That's like an upsetting she, shot. Why would they? She looks possessed. She looks possessed and not yeah. like she's like, not well. <laughs> like no. Little House on the Seventh Layer of Hell. Yeah. yeah. Also, I didn't know you could be a kid in Price is Right. I thought you uh, had... you could be pulled up. To, no, 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 no. But like, like in the can audience. you be in the audience? Yeah. I didn't know that. Price is Right, but the age is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, all right. We're I'm back. Sorry. You win a jet ski. I'm yeah. all over the place today. I apologize. I apologize. That's okay. That's kind of what the show's about. That's what we're all about. I do want to bring it back to uh, Dick House Media <laughs> gor Gorilla Film, a uh, Gorilla Flicks. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're known as now. I don't. Yes. Dick House went away. Yeah, I think they stopped it. Stopped Dick House, and it's Gorilla. Gor Flicks. It's Gorilla Flicks now. Why? Uh, it's been like that for years. Yeah, it has. Even with Jackass Four, wasn't Dick House? I think it was Gorilla I, I think Flicks. it still said Dick House on that too, though. Really? I but don't that remember. might that might yeah. be like just reserved for yeah, Jackass yeah, yeah. now or something. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. But because they make a lot of other stuff too. But it's anyway, probably uh, hard to do business as Dick House. I think the I think like uh, uh, ridiculousness like made them set forever. Like I think that that is made by the same production house, and yeah. I think that that's their just bread and butter yep. while they do other stuff. Yes. Uh, as far as I know. But anyway, uh, yeah, we so found out uh, there was I, I get emails all the time about like, oh, they're screening this in L.A. Look, they're going to do a screening of um, A.I. and the cinematographer is going to talk at the thing. Do a Q &A. You know, I get emails about that all the time. American Cinematech uh, is going to have a screening of, uh, you know, the the Indian in the cupboard and the, ki and <laughs> the <laughs> kid is going to be there. <laughs> Kid. Yeah. Kid. I would I would go see that. Yeah, I don't know why I picked that. If movie, the kid but. from any of the cover is gonna be there, do yeah. QA, I'd be there. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> stuff like that. And, but these things sell out pretty quick. You know, a, a day later it'll be yeah. sold out. They're gone pretty quick. But I get a message from our friend Nathan. He was um, by the way, he was uh oh, Kyo Shin. Shin Kai. I don't remember what we called him in the boo video yeah, because yeah. they're there's different in, in they call them differently in the American version than they do. I don't know what we call them. Shin. Yeah. Are you talking Kai? Elder Kai? He was Elder Kai too. And the regular he Kai. He played both. Yeah, yeah. Our friend Nathan. He DM me just like, have, do you know about this? And it was, oh, they're gonna show Jackass the movie on 35 millimeter oh, at the yeah. Egyptian theater. Whoa. Legendary old theater yeah, yeah. and that was closed for years. Yeah. And Netflix bought it renovated the theater like to be state of the Whoa. art inside mm -hmm. totally cleaned it new up sound system new theater system everything yeah everything and so it's like well not only have i not seen that which i would love to see that but then yeah. they're gonna play jackass on 35 millimeter film yeah which is like <laughs> okay and then yeah oh and oh by the way uh the creator of jackass jeff tremaine director uh doing q a he's gonna be there yep. oh and Dude, no, it, this awesome. did not sell out. It had been up for weeks. It was yeah. like, this hasn't sold. Mm -mm. And I was talking to Nathan about this. He's like, I think it was buried in there. They're, they're doing like a documentary series of films mm -hmm. at this theater. And he's like, I think no one's looking through the documentaries oh, to find this. Yeah. Oh. And then also it's Coachella weekend, which that impacts L. It yes. actually does impact yeah, yeah. LA. Really? Really? So. I Between all those, he's like, city. I think people are just kind of not seeing this. It did sell out as of like the day of. The day of yeah, yeah. But I was seeing tweets even a couple days ago. They're like, yo, this is, there's yeah. a, a lot of tickets. It was a full house. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So it, ended, it did end up selling out. But um, yeah, so we went up to LA. We had a whole day. We 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 filmed Creepy Old Crypt. Yeah, earlier in the day. Uh, we did that earlier in the day. Uh, filmed it. Uh, yeah, we were outside, outside of Disneyland area. Yeah. It started raining, so it was like, you know, I've always meant to get this poncho He's from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. It's Now's indoor. the time. It's raining. Yeah, yeah. Let's, okay, let's I'll get put it. it on. So it's raining. Okay, yeah, the let's go. All right. Gear. And then we get in the car to leave, and it it is raining so hard you can't see the fucking cars in front of you. Yeah, and it it's is. like, so it was bad. cool. It, it was wasn't raining so hard. Was it raining all day before or after? But as soon as I was in the car, it had to do yeah, that. It's it slowed down raining as soon as we got to the theater, and when we got out of the movie, it was not a cloud in the sky. It I was mean, it was night stars. Yeah, like so that really sucked. But then it was like it's like I hope we make it. Are we gonna make it to the theater? Are we did? Yeah, okay, yeah. we did. Ran into the theater in this gear, and of course that's when we got to meet not only Jeff Tremaine, director of Jackass the movie, yep. but 
Rick Kosick, who was a, another founding member of Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yep. Uh, they all came to Were it. Were they this in the lobby? When, with the, you when the movie was over, we all met outside the just outside the theater. We, we had other friends that we knew where yeah. we were going. Yeah. They were outside and we were just talking and we were talking in this one little area that had like a, almost like a little red carpet thing. Yeah. There was no red carpet no, event yeah, for yeah, this. Yeah. It was. We were just standing and talking and then, yeah, we're out there maybe 20 minutes and then, uh, hey guys, we're gonna, can you guys move? They're gonna take a picture. Oh, they're all coming out here to take a photo where we're standing. Oh. Yeah. So we just waited a minute and it was like, well, can, can, we, can we talk? Can yeah. We get a photo and whatever. And Got to briefly talk with them wow. for a second. That's sick. Talked to Rick Kosick about, uh, uh, so this movie was shot. I mean, even this movie, this you know, the show was shot on like terrible Handy mini, mini yeah, DV right. back yeah, in the day. Yeah. The movie wasn't any better. That first <laughs> yeah. movie. Oh really? Still like a lot of DV tapes. I wow. mean, and a lot of it was segments they just didn't fit in the show. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. we never used rocket skates. And now we have to censor it. Yeah, throw it in yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah, talk with them briefly about. I was like, that's that was mini DV to digital on the computer to a, a film negative to a 35 millimeter print. I'm like, how many things did that go through? <laughs> and he was like, Gee, I don't know, man. And I was like, I, I was honestly watching the movie in there thinking, this is the only movie I've ever seen. Tell me if you agree with this. Yeah. This is the only movie I've ever seen in 35 millimeter on the big screen that looks uh, better on DVD at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like relatively crisp at yeah, home yeah, because yeah, it you're was right. shot that way. Yeah. And this has I agree. Been transferred to so many things. But it, it was, was kind of hilarious. It was it was fun to see it in that format. Oh, I, yeah. I, that, awesome. that was a format I'm sure I saw in 2002. When yeah. I went and saw it in theaters, then oh, right, yeah. right. And so For sure. uh, it was fun seeing that and fun seeing with the group. Yeah. Going back to them though, uh, they were so chill. Like they, yeah. you, you could tell they came out, no rush. They were going to be there until everybody got a photo or a handshake oh, wow. or anything. Yeah, That's they were. Cool. They were not like, oh, we real quick. They just stayed out there. Everybody was just chilling out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. saying if you hi. Went to that, it was so cool. You're clearly a diehard jackass fan. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you've probably sure. been there from the beginning. Yep. You know, so Definitely. like I'm sure they were happy to meet some people. Oh, yeah. Totally. They were I, and I'm I'm always paranoid since doing our own tour. I you know, I see how these things work. So I'm very like, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get in, get out. Yeah. And and so being like that with uh with Jeff Terry, it was just like, man, I'm sorry, just real yeah, like, can I real, quick real quick picture, whatever. Yeah. It was like yeah no I'm yeah here. i'm here I'm, like yeah. yeah no it was that kind of reaction where it was yeah, just like yeah, yeah no I'm, I'm you know i'm here yeah. then he looked at my outfit for like i was a gonna ask yeah. i was and gonna he's ask like, yeah. hmm yeah don't like stab me or anything oh i'm <laughs> i'll try not to all right good okay cool. i right, took a picture <laughs> and then kevin stepped up okay get a picture yeah. of him kevin had a candy man shirt oh, yeah, oh, with, yeah, with yeah. john candy yeah, on yeah. it and, and he it was, went, it was a little right, covered up and wait, stuff like that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And then he peels his shirt He just kind of went like this and he looked at it and he, he was like, oh, that's cool. Like, and then yeah, we took, like, a, cool. took a photo. Right, yeah, let's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was we, so cool. But before the screening, more important than that, more important yeah, yeah, than yeah. that, before the screening, I did not know. No one told me that, again, Netflix bought this theater to yeah. shape it up. They did yeah. a great job. Oh, they did. Uh, it used to be kind of ratty inside. It was a nice theater. The, the, the film always looked good. Yeah. It was kind of old and dingy it's like yeah. a world famous yeah it's movie from the 20s yeah. Yeah. yeah now like the, the 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 lobby it's no longer like old ass dirty carpet and no. stuff it's marble and they've got a, a, a history on the wall of what's premiered there and like oh, wow. i don't know if you looked at any of that but it was like empire strikes back premiere here's the picture oh, i didn't look at it it was that. really neat did they have howard the duck in 70 millimeter and napoleon dynamite on that that wall I mean, of history somewhere because we, that, we saw that there and that was, that, that was historical moment really right there. <laughs> uh, but what no one told me is netflix had a netflix store what connected oh, to the theater shit. and i went in and i was like this oh oh this is gonna be awesome what are they what dumb stuff are they gonna have it was all squid game or stranger, stranger things. things it was like ah never mind yeah. walked out Ew. toward walked out towards the door oh wait Oh, they had the pants, baby. Oh my Look god. Look at the pants. Can they even see that? Go Netflix that we joggers. Got up, but you might have to get oh! real. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> His dun. other leg clearer. Look at that. Oh, oh my beautiful. god. Wow. <laughs> beautiful. So yeah, I was stoked. Netflix and chill in style. I was kind of hoping they would have more varied show stuff, like yeah. uh Sense 8 underwear or something, you know, but they didn't <laughs> yeah. they didn't do that. Nothing. Nothing for you. No but tiger pants, King I take the pants. Or Devil like Man that. Cry Baby. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Do you ever feel fortunate that Tiger King happened when the pandemic hit? 
that we didn't have to like hear about it as much. Like yeah, it yeah. was online a lot, yeah. but I feel like in person, I would have had to like duck out of a lot yeah, of events. Absolutely. I think it's funny a lot of times going to something like this. And I think like, you know, we do our own merch here, obviously. Yeah. And we do, we work really hard on it. And I think like your Netflix, how, how have you, have you not figured it out? Like, yeah. <laughs> you want to hire me to consult for a second? Cause like you're fucking this <laughs> up. Like, Nothing but Stranger Things. Like, I can go to Hot Top. I can get that. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yep. Let me get the weird shit here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, they must know something because, you know, <laughs> Squid Game was pretty damn big. And oh, I'm they not had, saying they had that. A lot of I'm cool sure stuff, they did. But, but like also like you get some this branded Netflix stuff yeah. like that's people yeah, yeah. want that. Have and they, then they go, where'd you get that I Netflix say, hoodie? Yeah. I will say uh, they uh, Squid Game was something I was intending to watch at some point. But it got, it was so big at the time. It was one of those things. It's not even like, you know, I don't want to watch the popular thing. It's, I mean, I always have a little bit of that, I guess, but uh, in all fairness, but. Same. Uh, but sometimes there's so many people talking about it. You kind of want to see it. Uh, it's hard to like, I want to make my own opinion. So I kind of yeah, like, yeah. I want to watch this later because I there's too much kind of noise many people about it. I got to stay out it. of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. dude, I'm doing it with Attack on Titan right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, do yeah. that with a lot of shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it can be hard to kind of watch it without all the the noise. Uh, I remember back in the day, Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. It was kind of hard to like, I, I don't even know if I could watch this because I'm hearing so many people say stuff about it that I'm, I'm not able to kind of get through yeah, that. I, well, so I watch it years later and I'm like, oh, that was wonderful. I somehow you know? was able to sneak through and I, I saw it like right when it first you, came you out. You really did. I yeah. was. I missed the boat. I don't that. know how. Well, yeah. not movie. I was know, on it. I our, our mall... Yeah, uh, that has the indoor mall with yeah, the yeah. theater. Mm -hmm. I got a hey, you want to come to a secret preview screening? Oh, and can't tell you what it yeah. is. Yeah. It's going to be a comedy, and it was yeah. like okay, free tickets. You just got to take a survey afterwards. Okay, it was Napoleon Dynamite like a month before it was released. Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. you tell you told me. Yeah, that's that. cool. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that movie on its own as its own thing is fucking great. Yeah, but there it. was totally. a time in this world where it's like I can't talk about Napoleon Dynamite anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah you no more. Kind of need to please. back yeah. away from it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of. So, Squid Game, I, I will check that out at some point because I I've heard good things. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, but I did want to say real quick though about Jackass, mm -hmm. you do forget about we, we we often get into the conversation of what's the best jackass movie and yes most people ask do say two i i do think if you're if you're with a group of friends two is probably the one you'll put on because mm -hmm. it's got the most like i can't believe they did that kind of shit yeah but man i really love that first one because yeah, first one to me it's the best mix of it's kind of the most i know this is going to sound funny but uh some i heard someone say it's kind of the most comfy like, yes, like totally. it's got some risky shit, but it's also got like, all right, I'm just, I'm going to um, take a shit in the middle of the department store. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm as an old man, I'm just going to take chips from the store, you know, yeah. shoplifter. Just it's, stealing. Yeah. They had, you know, the second one, they kind of stopped doing the public stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, golf course air horn. That's jackass yeah, to me. Still yeah. Super funny. Uh, and that brought the house down. Yeah. Um, there were lots of things that made me laugh that I had forgotten about. I forgot about the burglary skit where they came they oh, were in it with diamonds and they fell through the, the ceiling and yeah. that one dude Super is runs out so fast. he's outside before they hit, they touch the ground <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. gone there's he's two other nerds back at the office the going I'm, I'm, so should we talk to them like what, what is that and then, like the third guy was already down the street that yeah. guy is not i have no time to investigate what's going yeah, on I'm he out said of here yeah he said i saw ski masks out of the corner of my eye i'm done that's it. I yeah, will gone. be gone. Um, I was that's like, smart. that's great. I told the story, maybe it was in the uh, post show last week about that tree above me got hit by lightning mm -hmm. and my dad turned and I was gone. Yeah. That I was that guy where it's like, I don't know. I'm, I am gone. Yeah, like I'm there's, just, I'm, I'm not going to investigate yeah. why yeah. Bart's yeah. falling yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking yeah. gone. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that guy was my favorite for sure. Yeah. That movie. Uh, I love that movie. That movie yeah. was so good. And then Ryan Dunn is so great. And he got, Huge applause. The car. I have to say, when they did that opening, oh, 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 and they, you know, in the yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they go to each person. Yeah. Huge applause for everybody. Ryan Dunn, I maybe got the biggest. Yeah, yeah. of course. Huge applause. That's awesome. But, but took it. We, I think we, as a group, mm -hmm. took it on ourselves that when it went to the golf cart sketch five minutes later, and that title for Brandon D. Camillo yeah. came up, we, we fucking... You had to start yeah. the cheer. It was yeah. like we're not letting that go by. No. We yeah. pay respects to the to yeah. the other, you know, the fifth beetle, yeah. right there, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, he got a big cheer. And then 
Lance Bangs got a huge cheer when it went to him when uh, when uh, Dave England shit in the van on accident <laughs> on the way to yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. first yeah. attempt to, to shit in the department store. Went early. Uh, the, the hardware store. Uh, yeah, it cut to Lance. Oh, Lance. Oh, we're going to. And that was like, Johnny, you can you can speak to that, right? It was like, or like, or like the loudest clap I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, I was yeah. so hyped. The cr I was surprised the crowd popped that big for yeah. Lance Bangs on camera. <laughs> That's was so Lance cool. There, no, no. You jo gotta, Johnny. Yeah. We, we talked with that. Johnny was like, all these other camera people. It sounds like they're going. If Lance Bangs goes, I'm gonna have a, a problem. Yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Because right, what, what is that, You're Johnny? You have, up, you have Johnny? a uh, Lance Bangs has just been a huge influence on yeah. me. Like he's he used to do like documentaries on like uh, bands in, in the 90s. Yeah, and then doing Jackass. Like I just always like took inspiration from him. So it, I would have been like kind of marking out if I saw him for sure. Yeah, Hell yeah. But it's so cool. You gotta watch that movie with Jeff Tremaine. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that cool. is rad. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you went to that. Damn. I am too. That I, I was stoked. That, yeah. that were all worked out with the uh, rain and everything. Well, I do want to say so. So yeah, it was really cool, and getting to talk to them after was really awesome. Johnny, you what happened with you? Oh my God. You met a wrestler. Right. Okay, I yes. I may have the most. Uh, all right, no, this is I had a wonderful night, but Johnny was giving uh, me different. Uh, this is the same here. night. The same yeah, night? yeah, yeah. I had right. the most night. awkward moment of maybe my entire life. Oh, um, no. okay. I'm, I'm gonna preface this like. uh so when Rick Kosick and uh, Jeff Tremaine came out, I kind of tried to talk to Rocco and Kevin about it. Mm. But you two were so in like, we need to get a photo mode. And you kind of, I, I felt awkward. So I yeah. kind of like walked away a little bit. I, I should say too, sorry not to cut you off, but yeah. I, I should say too, I felt really bad because I did have a few people say hi afterwards, but I was, I very rarely get starstruck. I was in the tractor beam yeah. of Jeff Tremaine. Those guys, they were Beatles to me. Yeah. So I'm, I do feel bad because a couple of people said hi, and I was like, yeah, good, yeah, hi, hi. Okay, is that Jeff? Okay, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like I was kind of stuck in that, so if anybody was there and I was a little so off in space, don't post I apologize. on Twitter that Rocco's a dick, okay? He was <laughs> caught well, I do, Jeff if, I, if I was, I apologize. There, you know, I met, met a couple of very nice people, but sure. if I was a little off in the clouds, I do apologize. That's so anyway, why. Johnny, you, I'm sorry if I acted that way. No, no, you. you're fine. Okay. I didn't really want a photo with them, so I kind of like laid back. Sure. And, and then I, I noticed like blonde hair and I was like, oh my God, that's a wrestler I like. Oh. So I, I went up to, like, I was like, all right, I'm going to get a photo with this guy. Cause I love whenever I get to take a photo with wrestlers. Mm -hmm. So I walk up, I'm like really nervous. I'm like, I tap on his shoulder. I'm like, Ooh. Hey man, Nick, I love your stuff. Uh, let's take a photo. And he goes, what'd you just say to me? Oh, uh, and I was like, oh, oh, Nick, can we take a photo? And he went, I'm Ryan. It was Ryan Nemeth. His right. brother is Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler. And I called him his <laughs> brother's name. Oh, no. <laughs> Johnny. It was the Hollywood hug? It was the Hollywood hug, hug uh, Ryan Nemeth. I almost did it again. And he was like, <laughs> and then he, I think he just realized, oh, I could fuck with this guy. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. He was, oh, yeah. He was cool about it. It sounds like oh, he's cool. He was laying it in. He was like, man, you know that really upsets me. No. <laughs> yeah. Shut yeah. Up. He did not let just let it go. No. Yeah. And, and then I was like, uh, all right, cool. Can we take a photo? And then uh, he was like, sure, man. And I put my phone up to take a photo. He's like, you're not going to take it in front of the nice background, dude? And I was like, o okay. And then we like walked together to this nice background to take a photo. And I just kept like apologizing. I'm like, hey, man, I'm so sorry. And he's like, I'm just fucking with you. You're fine. Uh, what's your name? And I was like, oh, Johnny. He's like, nice to meet you. And walked away. And I was like, I'm so mortified. Uh, no, I don't figured, mortify. Hey, he was That's a professional. Okay. Yeah, he was a professional. Yeah. He was a professional. But man, it was. Ooh. I was entertained hearing that. I, well, no offense. I kept, oh, sorry. I kept telling myself, I'm going to tell this on the podcast, and then it's going to be out of my brain. Exactly. Yeah, it's, gonna, totally. it's like therapy. You feel better now. Exactly. exactly. Now we're all laughing with you. I, yeah. I, I, I've talked. I think I talked about that with you, Johnny, is there's a lot of things that I think should upset me in a normal way would upset me that I try my new my new form of dealing with it is I try my best to go ah this is a bit for the podcast <laughs> yeah yeah I'm going to use Hold this to and get a good story yeah I am not upset I will I it will slide yeah because now I have a great bit I, I try to manifest it or you know like uh, yeah, yeah yeah package it that way as opposed to rage you know yeah so, um, uh, I did Johnny know, did a good job of that I, I, I didn't know Dolph Ziggler and, and Nick Nemeth Oh, no, Nick Damon Ryan. Is, uh, yeah, it's all I didn't crazy. know they're brothers, basically. Oh, yeah. I know the two wrestlers, but I didn't know they're brothers. Johnny, that's happened to us at the booth. Oh, so many times. People come yeah. up to Sean and go, like, hey, Derek. Yeah. And we just roll with it because yeah, we're because, not as mean as Nick no, Damon. No, because <laughs> no. we don't. <laughs> 
Yeah. Because like, oh, let that moment pass. Like they are nervous and they said the wrong thing. And I get nervous for them. Like I hope fucking Garrett doesn't correct them because that would be very embarrassing for them. (laughs) I mean, I had somebody at PAX tell me for 10 minutes how they were excited I brought a show back that I had nothing to do with. Well, there you go. I think they they thought I was in a different group. uh, Yeah, yeah. Johnny's close. It's his brother. He's like, at least, you know, this guy knew what he was talking about. Yeah. Um, There was someone at Anime Expo, again, one year, I, I know I brought this up before, but that would not let go that I uh, that I was donkey. Oh like, yeah. Oh, I lo- God, I love your review of Death Stranding or whatever. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not him. Ha. Yeah. Well, anyway, I did love what you said about comparing it to Mario. Again, I'm not him. Yeah. Anyway, I love what you and it's like. Yeah, we keep, doing, keep doing this for another half hour. Sounds yeah. good. But uh, you know, I went with it. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, take it. Take it yeah. where you can get it. Um. So. Speaking of embarrassing, a little bit embarrassing. Today uh, is my father-in-law's birthday. Okay. And for his present, they, I think my mother-in-law arranged for um, Jenny and then uh, Jenny's two brothers to go on this, like, a tall sailboat, tall okay. ship, tall, I think, yeah, tall yeah. something. I know what you're talking about. It's, it looks kind of like the Star of India, and it's right next to the Star of India in the Maritime Museum. Yeah. Okay. And then my kids were going to come too, and then uh, I told Jenny, she's like, you know, you know, you, you got to work, do the podcast, like, you don't have to go. And I looked at them, like, I think I can make it. Like, I think I can go mm-hmm. and, you know, be there. So, like, I got a ticket, which wasn't cheap. It was like... It's just a tour, a docked ship. No. no, it's to go out. Oh, you're the, going. It, it, a, it, I didn't out know. To I didn't know all the way what I was signing up for. Okay. So I went to the Maritime Museum. Got to go through the submarine, Star sure. of India, whatever. Oh, okay. Awesome. That's and cool. And then it's like, all right, here's the tour. And they're like, okay, so use the bathroom before we go out. I'm like, okay. He's like, there is a bathroom on there, but it's not great. I'm like, okay, like, and we'll be out for four hours. Oh, four four hours. That's a long yeah. time on the four on the hours on a sailboat. On a sailboat, like a pirate style. It wasn't. It's like eighteen hundred, so it's not like pirate, pirate style. Yeah, pirate. Okay, okay. But there is, you're dude. Right, you're not sure. in the nineteen hundreds. I'm sorry. That's you're raising <laughs> the mast and you're doing all bunch of. Is this, there? Is it a steam engine? Was everybody giving? There is no. No, it's, it's sails. Sails. There is a. There's a. They put add a diesel engine to it so you could get out. To get sea. out from the dock. Okay, so it's retrofitted from. 1920s technology. Okay. Yeah, so sure. we are on the boat, and it's you know a sailboat. They do have like now I'm gonna say a cannon, even though they said this is not a cannon. It's <laughs> a cannon. <laughs> this this is actually a something something gun. I'm like it's a fucking ca- it's a cannon. It's okay, a super, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and they say if you say a cannon, whatever, it doesn't matter. So like, like shut up. Then you could do a thing where like it was like a you could help or you could you know. Her. Not. <laughs> <laughs> there's like 20 people who work this ship, and there's 40 of us who are like paid to be on the ship. Oh. And you would think it's really big. It was not as big as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and so, so we kind of on top of each other a little bit, and you have to keep mm-hmm. moving around and like ducking over the thing, and like there are ropes swinging everywhere, oh, and people are climbing shit. the mast. And it's oh, like shit. it was a whole involved. fucking. It's like Rocco's oh, okay. pirate dinner. Yeah. It, it was a whole thing. Yeah. And so then Sanity. we get out to the ocean. And the wind really picks up. And then they start like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like turning around to like, I thought go back, but they turn around again. And like, I got so fucking seasick. Oh, you get dizzy. And yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. get, you and get I was, seas- I was concerned before. I'm like, I'm like oh, I get dizzy. I get, I, I don't know if I get seasick. I've never actually been seasick, but I get Similar dizzy. Similar inner ear thing. I don't know. And there was a point where. I had this trash and the so I was like, can you throw this away for make sure? And then I looked and I couldn't find the trash can. I didn't, I couldn't communicate that I couldn't help. And I was just like, I just handed it to Beckett and I was like, trash. <laughs> <laughs> and then so like I go off to the edge of the boat and I'm just like, like rocking. And I'm drunk. just like, I'm I but I'm like on like, am I gonna black out? Am I gonna throw up? Like, what is happening to me? So I look at a crew member and it's go like I grab him like this and it's rocking to go, do I throw up over the side or do I throw up somewhere else? <laughs> and he goes, you got to throw up. And I go, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's got you like dazed. I don't know what the this fuck is, great. is happening. Are you going to throw up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then so like I kind of <laughs> kneeled down by the thing and he's like, Try not to throw up on the boat. If you have to, throw over the thing. And we got some stuff for you. One second. And then the crew starts, like, 
running around to get me things. <laughs> and so one guy like, runs and gives me a bucket. And then one other guy gives me like, a little bag. And it's like, I got some ginger candy for you. That's going to help you. Look at the horizon. I'm like, okay. And then like, the captain comes over and he's like talking to me. I'm like, I, I, don't, All want, this attention. I don't want any of this attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good. Oh, I want to get off this fucking boat. I And I look and like, I am two hours into this four hour thing. Oh. And I'm like, I'm, oh. Oh. I'm going to fucking die. Are you getting nauseous now? Just <laughs> thinking about it. Telling me this story, I feel like I'm a fucking barf. Yeah, I can, I can, I can <gasps> hear it in your voice. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna. I was going go along with the story. I'm not gonna. The point is, I had the ginger candy, looked at the horizon, and then I finally was like, got my bearings a little bit. Then, like, we got back, and like, once we got back past like the the rough seas, I was fine. Mm-hmm. But like seriously, I finished it. I'm like, Jenny, you gotta fucking you gotta drive home. Like you I still don't feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Like I came to be like, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna be a th- I'm gonna be here. I'm yeah. like, I, I fucking ruined this whole you thing. You paid money to do this. Yeah. Uh-huh. And like, then no one else got sick yeah, but yeah. me. Oh, I'm yeah. the one fucker. Like ever there's like and then, fucking kids all over the place and babies and I'm the one idiot who like has like all the crew like helping, like fanning me off. And I wanna die. So yeah, anyways, I got in the car, drove the kids home, came here, and I still am like, you Ugh. came in. That like, was today. Like, I, I was walked right in. Just, I, I walked in. in. I walked in it to the podcast so set. Windy today. Ready to go. I was in the outfit. I was all good to go. I came in and Sean was like, <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what I was. Yeah. That's what I was like. I, I was like, you seem stoked. You want to handle this one on your own? And then I was like, I'm gonna tell <laughs> you what happened go? to me later. Okay. I'll wait for the camera. Yeah, we got we got it our answer. Cra- it was crazy <laughs> windy today. It was so yeah. windy. So and you then went on a four yeah. hour tour. We were tour. in like the bay part. It was fine. But once we got to the main ocean and we had to go a mile and a half out into the ocean, I and it was like they kept turning around. So like I was walking like this and I'm walking like this and I'm back to this. And it's like all over the, the place. changing. It was just oh. fucked. See and I, dolphins? No, we saw a seal, a sea oh, lion. Yeah. Sea lion. Okay. Sea lion. But um, it's cool. Yeah. Four hours was a long time for me to be at sea. And I was generally was like, do you take drama? I mean, I'm like, I wasn't prepared. I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Like, I just, it was a last minute decision for me to come. Yeah, that's a. And I just really, that's too long. I, I made a mm-hmm. whole scene. The whole boat came to a stop <laughs> to help the one oh. idiot who got seasick. But now I know I'm not going to go yeah. back. But, you know, I did that one um, ear cleaning out thing with the spray bottle. Yeah, and that fucked you up. And that wrecked me for that whole like barbecue oh, cast. Yeah. That one time. Like, I don't, my, I forgot my equilibrium that. is a little yeah, sensitive. Inner ear is a little, your inner little, ear. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the best. I have a pretty bad inner ear and the vitamin D is not helping that one. So no. it's just that's just who I am. It's but helping yeah. other stuff. Has vitamin D been helping? Yeah, is there a rib oh. rib update? <laughs> the rib is let's fine. Get the, the, you know what? I know you say it's fine, but let's still call it that rib update. We want to use the clip. <laughs> There's <laughs> <laughs> we gotta reuse the this is, stuff. Johnny made that bitch in clip. We want to keep using it. <laughs> the rib is very healed. I will say that I used to get, I would estimate four to five pretty bad headaches a week. Oh my at god. Least. Well, yeah, I did not least. know. There's seven days in a week. I would. That's a lot. Right. I mean, that's a I'm lot of probably, days. With I headaches. was probably taking at least two to four Advil a oh, day Jesus, for, for probably s- five or six days a week. <sighs> for how many years? Wow. For how many years? My whole life. Yeah, my whole entire oh, life. Oh man! Um, wow! 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 But I will say, since this vitamin D, I probably have taken Advil. I would say once every two weeks. So oh, that's, that's wow. really big better wow. compared to where yeah. we were. That's a big improvement. Compared Yo, that's to where we were. Great. Yeah. I had brought, the, by the way, to the, my doctor, like, hey, I took a lot of ibuprofen, like a lot. And I tried it, and they're like, they didn't seem concerned. So hopefully my liver is okay. But yeah, I, yeah. I did. Um, anyway, so yeah, my headaches have so drastically, and when I do get them, they're not nearly as like as severe. Because before, a lot of times, like as you guys know, I have Advil on me at all times. Oh, because if because you ignore it, it'll shut you if down. If I no- ignore it, it's going to turn to a migraine. I can feel it, but I have not had any of those like, behind wow. the eye headaches. Yeah, since the vitamin the D worst. started. Since the vitamin Man. D started. Okay, so, I can't believe that. I know awesome. it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I never would have. I never would have guessed. Just a simple like mineral you were missing from. It's fucking yeah, vitamin D. Like it's wild. Anyway, so um and. Just a now when Garrett and I lift weights, I'm gonna have to like worry about like my ribs hurting anymore. It's not really a thing. So like yeah, it, yeah. it's been ribs are healed. Ribs are I'd say stronger healed. than they were before. Stronger than yeah, I, yeah. I, I truly think it's like so. steel. Yeah. You know, there are times I would do things and I would feel like, oh, it feels like my wrist is about to break. I would have that like it's like if I twist it anymore, I bet I would break my wrist. And I don't know if that's a normal thing to think, but I have <laughs> 
but I do think like, I could feel like, oh, my bones are Oh, like are a little not... thing in there would snap. Or like, I, just, I could just feel like, oh, my bones are like at their max right now. And like, they can't handle much more. But I don't really feel that way anymore. So I think that the vitamin D really is helping. Okay. So I'll let you know when I do my next bone density test. And hopefully I don't have the bones of a 70-year-old woman anymore. Oh, and that's then, right. Uh, then we'll, that's, yeah. So we'll see. I'll let, keep everyone posted on my bones. But right now I think I'm doing all right. Equilibrium sucks though. That's not great. What's next? Yeah, how do we fix that? Yeah, I don't think you can. Inner ear stuff, new I ears. Don't know. I think that's. I think that's. Get just, you some cadaver ears. It's all, like inner ear stuff is all balance and yeah. everything. I don't know if you can mess yeah. with that. I don't think so. I can't think get it's a, kind of if like, you have bad balance, it's inner ear. If you I have yeah. good balance, but yeah. I don't. I but I just get very motion sick. If I turn around one. If I turn around this chair one time, I'm you're done. done. And that's just like how I've always been. So I don't yeah. know. That mm -hmm. always cracks me up when you said like well, when we did that inflatables video where the oh we, yeah and you're oh, like as long as, you said with an earshot of the controller that was such a mistake oh, as was. long as they don't spin me <laughs> dude as, <laughs> the first I got you said like, that back speed <laughs> we're talking about the latest Disgaea collab yeah, yeah which was, was like a couple years yeah, ago yeah, yeah, yeah a few yeah, years that. ago at this point and I was on that surfboard and I oh, had, in oh, I told yeah. Kevin like. I think I could do this surf thing as long as the guy doesn't spin me because I get really motion sick. <laughs> and I, the guy was like right here and I could see a little smirk. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, and then, yeah, the surf I get smirk. on and he went like warp speed for <laughs> spinning Just, around. Oh my God. <laughs> so all those comments from Sean about, I think I'm going to throw up and everything. A hundred percent real. That's yeah, real. yeah. Like, that was real. That they kind of roasted yeah. you on yeah. that one. Anyways, that, that's all. Yeah. So Rip if I'm update. a little wacky tonight, that's it. on the verge of barfing. You're you on the drama meme. I, I haven't got my my uh, land legs let yep. yet. Uh, did they give you drama meme? No. Oh, okay. But they gave me these little ginger mints. Yeah, that, actually, that, did, that did help. That ginger. just helped your breath. Yeah. It, well, it was almost pukey. But I did not throw up for the record. Oh, okay. You okay. did should, do it? I should clarify okay. that. You got the like uh, drool coming and all oh, the waves of it. I checked my it. Apple Watch and my heart was like, boom. It was like, oh, yeah. you look at my, my pulse and it was like 150. It was like, oh, you're about wow. to barf. But I really, I think I almost passed out, really. It was, it was crazy. Isn't it heinous, yeah. though, those times where you're like, if I barf, I'm going to die. I, I would do anything but barf right now. You're fighting it. Yeah, because you, you're in public. And then you do it, and yeah. you're like, fuck, I feel good. And yeah. that's the thing, too. Yeah. Is like, I hate that. Well, that, it, that it's like that. I should be yeah. excited to throw up. Yeah. 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 But, but you dread it. But I no, guess that's I what's built into it. it. No, I do, too, 100%. But yeah. then you feel so good. Then afterwards, yes. Yeah, it's like, you know, this is... Uh, nature's way of yeah. making you like so you're not just throwing up for fun yeah. I, guess. I haven't thrown up in like six years i think really I there was a point in my life where yeah i had it had been so long i forgot yeah i got food poisoning in like 2018 wow. that's I about think? the only wow. time i get it now and that's the last time i threw up but i eat a lot of weird shit so i get food poisoning a lot <laughs> yeah i'm trying to think you know i'm always like yeah that burrito has been out overnight but yeah, it's probably good. i've probably seen you good. eat some leftover burritos that are like ooh, I garrett know. uh why are you doing that? Kind of hate the last time I barfed, not Christmas cast. Yeah, because yeah. that I I definitely barf once oh, a year. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But outside of that, when was the last time? Um, that sucks. I got. I think I got. Was it last year? I got totally hosed because I was cleaning up barf and then I threw up and I got. I got that was penalized. Last year. Oh. Like I was cleaning it up. Yeah, I, I think I I think I said one thing in the no one afterwards. I said one thing. I made a comment. Oh, you did, and, and you just. Puked. Like <laughs> it just came out of me. I, you were we were all cleaning it up and I go like, oh, I think this was pumpkin pie. And you just I look <laughs> over and you're like, Bleh. and you're like, I don't you I just you just made me throw up, Kevin. Like I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how that happened, Kevin. I think this that. was pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was gross. But yeah. Oh. Anyway, you not, really not could have gotten away with it, but you were so honest. You told everyone. I did. I did. You, yeah. you went to the other room to do it. Yeah. yeah. I thought about calling out of this podcast, being like, you guys, I'm fucking seasick. I cannot. Oh. <laughs> but then I was like, no, like I can I can sit in a chair and talk. And talk. Tell a story. And it's maybe, a funny story, too. Yeah. Dude. Rocco called out sick Friday. If you called out sick today, you would have I, I, I honestly nuclear. Thought, like, <laughs> I was going to. Ooh, yeah, dude, I, I didn't know if I was sick on Friday or not yeah. because uh, I went to bed Thursday night. And woke up in the middle of the night so freezing cold. I, I don't think that I was sick. I, at the time, no. I did not know. Sure. Um, but I wasn't coughing, no sore throat, none mm. of that stuff. And what I think, it's funny. I don't complain about getting cold very often. I don't really get cold too often. Mm. I can be out in the cold in shorts and I'm like, all right, whatever. But if I'm like left out in the cold, like, like sometimes I've been here late at night just in shorts and a t-shirt and I don't tend to being cold. And then hours go by. If it like reaches my bones, I'm yeah. like dead. Mm. It's like, oh, 
oh, yeah. I don't Chill feel good. Bone. I don't it. feel good. And then I got to like sit in a hot shower and like rehabilitate. It's bad. Yeah. But anyway, I the weather took a sharp turn the other it night. Was it got warm. Yeah, yeah and it then was it got real cold. Yeah, like, all of a sudden. Yeah. And I think that already fucks with me. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of the night, I yeah, I was not very bundled up. And then I woke up. Oh god. And then it's that thing where you're too tired to get up to get like a jacket or something. So yeah. it's like, do I get a do I get a blanket? I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. I don't even know you what can't I'm think doing. Straight. And then I kind of fell asleep and I woke back up. I didn't sleep like normal the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the next morning I got up to get ready for work. And I'm like, okay, so what do I need? I'm going to need to record. Why am I going to work? Why am I going to? I just message yeah, just yeah. like, I, I can't. I'm useless today. Goodbye. And then I fell back asleep. Yeah. And I slept. I chugged NyQuil and oh. to, to say <laughs> I went to sleep, sleep. That's to say sleep. I went to sleep, that's like doing it an understatement. I I, I went to the fucking beach. <laughs> I Whoa, went to the Stranding. other side. Oh, oh, I was a, I was a, 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 a extinction level event. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I spoke with the dead and then returned a thousand years later. I, I was with Picard with that flute. <laughs> And just Damn, lived another dude. life Dang. and came back. And I you're speaking felt to Shai so much better the next Where'd day. You got like a ton of sleep. Uh, so so we uh, we were able to do the LA shit as planned. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I was scared. So yeah, sorry I didn't come. Yeah, in on so Friday. those of you who weren't here for the pre-show, Garrett found out at work Rocco wasn't coming in and had prepped everything for him to film something, and was not happy. Isn't understanding. I have you know, and what I realize it is is I'm just so out loud like i stub my toe i scream huh. fuck yeah i drop <laughs> something carrying it to the trash i go ah shit and everyone goes what's wrong and it's like i should keep my mouth shut why do i <laughs> i sorry i just dropped a can and i you guys are used to it now yeah you know trish well, is used to it around the house yeah you know, I, I, but, but a lot of times it's uh, me flying around i'm like you good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you actually hurt or are you <laughs> this was one of those events because it, uh, i i had stayed late <laughs> the night before sure. to, to prep for our filming. Yeah. Of course, Rocco didn't know he was going to get sick, but that news hit that Rocco got sick. And then all I just thought was, oh, I fucking, I wasted an hour of my day yesterday prepping something that I have all day today to now do. Mm -hmm. Why is the universe fucking me? But now to you and Derek and Kevin and Johnny in the office, it just looks like I, I've, I've gone Tasmanian devil. You have. Like, well, why the fuck didn't he tell me? And I was like, I don't think he knew he was going to be sick. And I'm not even mad at Rocco. And everyone's yeah. like, well, I mean, I don't think he knew he was going to be sick. So then either. Garrett walked away being like, I forget what he said. But I'm just going to make it up. It's like a fucking waste of time or something like that. It wasn't that, but yeah, it was something yeah. like that. And then I look at Derek and he looks at me and he just goes, <laughs> just like flips me off like yeah I don't I'm just a messenger I'm just a messenger <laughs> well fuck you I guess <laughs> and then I realized like I never even explained that and that's why I'm bringing well, it up today honestly well, because yeah I wasted my time the night before sure. staying late yeah I just like, well, <laughs> I, yeah. I, well, I wish I, I wouldn't have told you I uh I was here later uh relatively the night before and then just left stuff here because I was like, I'm, I'm just coming right back first thing oh, in the morning. Yeah. Well, that's how we knew and you then, were really fucked yeah, up. Yeah, Johnny told me that. He's like, I, I saw like my, my laptop was here. All my shit that I honestly could have used. I, I went into the editing room and I saw your Vision Pro. The I'm Vision like, Pro was just left you guys, out. We got to do a wellness check on Rocco. <laughs> no, the okay. Vision yeah. Pro, Vision Pro is left out. unattended. <laughs> uh, it's just out there. So, um, yeah, Johnny told me that. He's like, I think everyone w w was scared once they found that. Yeah, thought, it really thought, was. Thought like, some leftover shit happened. Yeah, it was like, what is happening? So I will say, you, you don't call out. Like, yeah, very, yeah very you're very here rarely do. It, more than any of us. Yeah, very, very rarely do that. But it was like, I was not going to be useful to anybody. Sure. Um, and yeah, sl no, you did slept the right a thing. solid 24 yeah. hours. So you that worked right out. Thing. You did. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, shit. Oh, sponsors. Well, this is the theme of this episode is embarrassment. Yeah, sure. So yeah, I yeah. definitely have more embarrassment to talk about. Fuck, okay. Yeah. Uh, but let's get to, let's do some plugs for a second. Yeah. We want to say thank you to our friends. And I, I do want to <clears throat> actually once again, uh, talk about Brandon uh, and yes. the team over at Get Bonus. Get Bonus, so baby. Cool. Who made our uh, Doug Huggum game that came out yeah. on April Fools. Um, you may not know this. It's been updated. What? what? Doug Huggum Plus Shut up. is oh, out. Really? 
now. I okay. did not know that. Oh, I want to check God. that out. It's Are been updated. The executable you can download and the web player version on our website, okay. mega64.com slash Doug Huggum, um, has been updated. It's got new features. You could play it with no time limit. Ooh, There's nice. maybe some secrets you didn't find before. Maybe you might find it now. You nice. never know. There's all kinds of extra stuff. So I invite you to explore it again for yourself. This is a this is an ongoing. This is, guys, we're doing games as a service. Nice. You know, this is what all the big companies do. And yeah. I want so, uh, our and consumers to get used to not owning their games. Yeah, we should. <laughs> and this is all free. It's free, but just we will know, bill you someday. Eventually, <laughs> at a day you know you're at least expected. Exactly. Like when the economy economy's really hurting. We're gonna oh by um by the way a couple years ago you played Doug you Huggum. Play, we see here you played Doug um seventy dollars please <laughs> um but anyway no it's all free check it out mega sixty four com slash Doug Huggum. cool and I want you to check out I want you to you I demand you do check out get bonuses other stuff they yeah. make such great stuff mm -hmm. uh, they are getbonus.itch.io mm -hmm. check them out support their work yeah. they're great. Yep. Yeah. Um, then I want to say thank you to everybody watching who supports Mega64, obviously. Go to shop.mega64.com and pick up something for yourself. You not only support what we do at the mm -hmm. studio, but you get something great in your own home. And you're going to want what we have, let me tell you. We, well, let me just say, we, we still have up the Mega64 Farewell Tour Blu-ray. We're, we're going to keep that up a little longer. We're going to keep it up. Okay. Some people still want it. Give them a chance. Um, it, hopefully, it's shipping out pretty pretty soon here, uh, and uh, we'll get that going. But uh, some people are still asking for it. We're going to keep that up for now, um, along with the Last Laugh Tour. So both tour Blu-rays, you could get them both uh, right now, as well as the other tour stuff. It's still up. But I got to tell you guys, for Mega 6420, our virtual boys event, we have a merch drop coming for that. Stay tuned to see that stuff because this has to be one of the most cracked out merch. I, I, I don't, I actually psycho. don't know what you're going to think. I'm not even going to go, guys, you're going to want to wear every new shirt, every new uh, thing that's, I, yeah, yeah. I don't actually know. This shit is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> even Ma bon even Meg is saying it's literally insane. <laughs> no, yeah, I think so. you're going to see it and go, I, are they okay? There were times that we were asking Meg to help us with something. And I think, is this appropriate for even us to even ask this? I feel, I feel we, this is terrible. So what could it be? What are we asking for? Tune in. What Stay are tuned. the shirts? You'll, you'll see. Stay tuned. And you're not going to fucking believe it. You're not going to believe it. But I love that the 420, we get to go like as unhinged as possible. Yeah, that's a loose, That's our, loose that's our goal with, yeah, the, yeah, with yeah. the Mega 6420 merch drop is like, yo, rules out, done. No, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, Mega sixty four day. Okay, well, it's our twentieth anniversary. Let's keep it themed to that skit or this video. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. No, Mega sixty four twenty. Uh, was there logic here? I don't. It, it's almost know. like what is it? And we learned in like psychology. Like, there's the id. It's like oh, what yeah. if the id yeah. personality designed all these shirts? Yeah. Like the most insane oh, part of you. Unchecked id. Unchecked oh. id made some <laughs> fucking stuff. What yeah, would right. they make? We Dude, all brought and, and we all everyone here brought stuff to the table. Um, I will say on my end, I, uh, I, the thing I knew I wanted to do was this particular hoodie. There's going to be a pullover hoodie that day yeah. that I was inspired by something in particular. I'm like that we have to do that. And then I, uh, the design was done. Uh, Jason helped do it. Yeah. Actually, Meg did help too, but both of them kind of came together. It's got, it's got stuff from both of them on mm -hmm. it. And, uh, I've shown it to people thinking, oh yeah, how stupid is this? Everyone I've shown it to. <gasps> Are you going to have extra of that? It's like, are, oh, you, being, like are you kidding? Mm. I thought this was a joke, but yeah. everyone I've shown it to has been like, this fucking slaps. Yeah. I want that hoodie. I saw like, the other day. Anyway. I right? haven't seen it, it yet. It, it I'm, slaps. Once we have them in, in here, I'm yeah. going to wear that the rest of the year. I'm <laughs> I, on my, I knew I was going to do that because it's my kind of, it's definitely something thing. I would get yeah. if I saw it at a store. Yeah. But I didn't know anyone else would want it. So stay yeah. tuned. Yeah, stay, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. But I, uh, we tried to told you. When you see tried it, you go, you. "What the fuck?" Yeah. We tried to told Who you. Who thought of this? Is yeah. what you're gonna say to yourself. Yes, exactly. So exactly. stay tuned mm -hmm. to see that. Follow us on Twitter at Mega Sixty Four. We're also at Mega Sixty Four Official on Instagram. Um, on all the socials, follow us, and uh, you'll you'll see this stuff first. Yeah. Now, um, how high were you guys when you designed oh, no. these new Garrett? No. Garrett? Garrett? No. 
What you're telling me nothing? I was on so much Drimamine, but nothing else. That's well, I can't nothing believe else. it. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> else. Okay. Uh speaking of embarrassment and drugs. Yes. Coachella okay. happened this Coachella week. Coachella did. Oh, it's dude. First, it's of really all, happening. first of all, let's talk about the big thing that sure. happened at Coachella that everyone's talking yeah, about. I, I have questions about this big thing. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The brown acid. Everyone around is it's kind of been the talk of the town uh-huh. at Coachella. Go what, ahead. What was the biggest thing at Coachella? I mean, you? Beyonce wasn't there this year. No. Oh. So oh. what kind of filled the void? My first Coachella, guys. <laughs> I was there. You attended. Oh, yeah. I Wh- did see a picture of you on yep. the Jumbotron. Wh- while I was waiting to get a picture with Jeff Tremaine, this so I'm already I'm gnarly. already freaking out. Then my phone is going. I'm going, what? what's going on? Bro, you're at Coachella. I'm like, I'm not at Coachella. Do I have a clone there? No. The Aquabats <laughs> showed me on stage. Martian Girl. They played Martian Girl. Yeah. Will you? They they're doing a new tour because they have a new album right. coming. Oh, right, yeah, right. right. They are really blowing it up with a new tour, new album, all that stuff. They they have a big thing going forward, and uh, they debuted all new. They played a few new songs from mm, their new album, but they cool. also have all new video assets okay. that play throughout the songs that are all custom. You know, sometimes when you'd see them, they would just play clips from old movies like yeah. Rad or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah. Loop. But yeah. these were all like, had like custom effects. I mean, they had episodes tailored to songs, so it yeah. makes sense that they would have now the like Martian Girl. video. So, for yeah. That. yeah, so Martian yeah. Girl, it's like the video is following the song kind of. The Martian Girl is landing. And I mean, when did it you gets, see the video? float away. There's, did, did you they see streamed it? this whole thing. I, yeah. I, I try to find it because I saw I the picture it. of you. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, I was like, well, I was right. You're next standing to Rocco. right next to him. Yeah. yeah. Was I at Coachella? I watched the video. It was. It's. Oh. It's. They cut to <laughs> no. them. Sorry, they, so John. they when they do the chorus, they go, "Martian girl from planet B, will you marry me?" And it cuts to different heads going, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Every "whoa" is a different head. But I, I, I did a "whoa." Sean, Sean, <laughs> Sean, it's it's Bat Commander, Crash McLarson, me. Another Aquabat. It's like me in the middle of four of Aquabats. Aquabats? Going, whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm so happy for you. But I was, I did a, I uh, did a whoa. I, th- I thought you would have been in there for sure. I, I was right next, I was right next to him. Maybe they were like, we already have one you mega. It? You can see it for yourself. Okay. Live okay. reaction. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Everyone, come Stay on! Up, well, J- Jimmy the robot wasn't even in there. They used Rocco and. St- I'm. I mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here's whoa, the thing: whoa. It, it was, was only five. Truly woes. an honor to be in the episode, and I had a great time. I really did. <laughs> I am happy. Flew out to Utah. I'm. I, I. It was great. We got to hang out. But to say this is not a kick in the pants is. Kick in the pants. It's a kick. You know what, Rocco? I'm going to, the next time Grimes plays, I'll be on her. Oh. Demotron. <laughs> Gr- She's uh, not going to be able to get it to work. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be HDMI. It's going to say input one. I was I think to be on Grimes. <laughs> it's going to be static. Work. I have to say, though, input Sean, one. you did say on a lot of podcasts, you don't, you have, you will never go to Coachella. You I said never said that. that. And, you uh, do a kind you, of double down said, on okay, that. You put those vibes out. Anti-Coachella energy. Yeah, you're like outside Lance all the way. You know what's going to happen is we're going to go see the Aquabats again. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to see your dumbass face on that screen. <laughs> yep. Hey, <laughs> now, but let me, this is going to balance it out though. Ready? Yeah. There was an entire tour. They played Handy Gel. And it was they you, did. And it was you and Derek. That, and I was never once on camera. That's true. No. And, and that the Aquabats happen. Super Show itself. Yeah. Even. They played that with yep. you and okay. Derek all the time. And I, by the time, it was like, oh, when do I get to be on camera? And the network said, nah. Film stuff with kids in them. They Don't did. no more adults. They did so that. I got scroogled okay. out of being on camera. So this is my you know time. what, Rocco? My time to you shine. You just sold me on it. I was at a four of being upset, but now I'm at a one. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, but um, he's he's just on stage at Coachella on a jumbotron. You were like on a TV show yeah, that aired yeah. and streamed and was put on DVD and Blu-ray. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. you and know what? how many people actually go to Coachella? Like, it's true. It okay. been like, yeah, okay. And most of them are on drugs, right, Kev? <laughs> they're all fucking. No. Uh, they're no. like Sean right now. They're uh, like, out all of bits it. aside, that is fucking rad. That, yeah, yeah, that is. That is that's really cool. That, uh, that's pretty sick. It was an honor. It was an honor considering how, you know, again, I think back to we all met in high school. Yes. 
put on, put on the Aquabat CD backstage. Uh, we did. I have to say too, they played a couple songs, and this new album they're saying is real ambitious, and uh, they have you know they're seems like they're really supporting it more than you know they they put out this this last album, um, and then kind of just moved on from it. But this one, it's like they're doing a whole tour connected mm -hmm. to it, and and they played some new songs, and they kind of sound they they got. A lot of old members back, and they're playing the horns. They, oh, they got fuck yeah! They play. Oh, yeah, Matt Gorney joined them. He's an official Aquabat. Yeah, post about. He's officially an Aquabat. Oh, I'm so proud of Matt. And that's I know. sick. I and know. they played uh, a new song. Uh, what was it called Rewind or something? But they played another song, and it's again, it's like it, they have a new song called Doctor Space Mummy. And oh, that's that right up You remember a ring a ling if you want some dingle. Yeah, yeah. They're playing that footage in the background. Whoa! And and it. There, it's got sax and horns, Doctor Space Mommy, and it's like, yeah, this is kind of classic Aquabats. It kind of seems that's cool. Neat. So they kind of like we're, are getting now a way of like we made a kids show, we had a kids thing. They like, still let's go back to they like definitely still had Yo Gabba Gabba characters on stage. Okay, yeah, yeah. but you now know, they it's still like, do hey, that. But use that period of our lives but now mix it with that period where we were just going hardcore and on ska it's it's it seems like they're just going all out that's fucking know. rad so we'll see i don't know i, I just kind of briefly saw that i so will that i will say one of the coolest and this is such a just a for me thing maybe you think it was cool too but when i posted that we filmed the aquabats thing mm -hmm. on i think it was instagram i was super proud like we filmed with the like you know like yeah. whatever and one of the guys from high school who was older than us that I looked up to, mm -hmm. uh, posted, I don't even follow him, but it posted and he put, I'm so insanely jealous right now. And I was like, that's okay. I'm happy. Like, that's so yeah. rad that like this yeah. guy looked up yeah. to you, making like, people from high school jealous. Who, like maybe was the one who brought the Alcabat CD that I first heard is now like, yo, you did it. You film with them yeah. like that. Yeah. So it is whenever something with the Alcabats happens, like I do have that, High school or me being like, yo, man, it, we fucking did it. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like, whoa. Oh, man, we did that. Like, you know, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Which I did say. Yeah, but they didn't <laughs> I use. Did. I just feel I, like maybe you could have said it a I, little. I like, guess. Yeah. You're put a little friends, more oomph. A little more animated. Put a little animated, more Dutch on right. it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like more. I more go back shit. and watch the episode because I thought I said, whoa, but maybe I didn't. I think you did. I think I did, too. We all went, whoa, 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 whoa. Which I do think when we filmed that part, too, I was like. This is pretty fucking cool. I'm yeah. so excited. Very I excited. remember specifically we were standing in the mountains in Utah yeah. and Sean going, Did you ever you we've heard this fucking song our whole life? Yeah. Did you ever think we were gonna be the ones saying whoa, 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 whoa? In that song? Like that, <laughs> that, that that's like, us? like yeah. that, that that'd be us. We're in the video. That was a that was a heavy moment. It was. It was. Anyways, we have fun here. So Grimes uh, played at Coachella. Yeah. So yeah. And I heard people keep trying to talk to me about it, and I literally cannot watch it because I'm dying of embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it hurts me to see. It's a bit. It, yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable. What happened? Do we know what happened to Grimes? Or uh, she plugged uh, like a USB into the CDJ thing or whatever, and it <laughs> what? didn't work. Like, I love really. <laughs> yeah, because I I didn't Legitimate. really understand either, and then I'm looking. And listening, and yeah, it's going on, and it's like, okay, she's like 30 or 40 seconds in, and she's still talking and not playing a sound. Play anything on those two oh. giant desks in front of you that makes noise. It, yeah. Just don't keep talking. What? What? I, she's yeah, just I mean, have any backup plan even a little. That's what I was saying. Like, when we go on tour, you would not believe, if you saw us out in the road, yeah. You would not believe the level and amount of backups. Yeah, redundancy Garrett is Garrett's has. Jam. Yes. Yeah. Garrett? Oh, yeah. I'm terrified of that moment. Backups of backups of backups. So if the five things fail him, he will still have something that will. He's like, make I got the happen. whole show on this one. I like, swear on to God, CD. I have yeah. a mini. Oh, I do. It's ready yeah, yeah. to go. There's 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 USB sticks I can play yeah. off. I can play off CDs. I have the raw files just on the laptop. We can play stream. You know, direct. Yeah, he, there is like a total redundancy program. I cannot into a live even. Show tell you how much work he puts in to just the backups that I don't think you have you ever used them no it's never happened never happened yeah. but, but they're, if they're you ever there. needed to this fucker's ready yeah if you're playing Coachella you're not gonna have a backup <laughs> plan you're not gonna yeah. figure out yeah. like dude hey, we have, this we have, goes wrong we have a backup plan for yeah we're playing a, a bar in Virginia <laughs> <Indiana>. <laughs> like, like uh, uh, Coachella I don't know what to do it's not working <laughs> yeah and and like uh, I, I kind of I, I didn't understand what she was trying to explain, but then you guys kind of told me today it's like her BPMs weren't matching up 
as good as they could have. But she has the ability to just press play on the deck right in front of her. Yeah. Why? She said it was two times speed, but I just... And she's not good at math to figure out the problem. But I don't know what... I mean, real, I DJ, real DJs have to beat You're match. Good, good enough at math to name your kid a fucking equation or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't figure that out? Uh, like, come on. What are you doing? Dude, <laughs> clearly knows some algebra. With a calculator. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it was extremely cringy. So anyway, she didn't know how to continue the set. And then, uh, yeah, people were responding. Yeah, this isn't the first time that's happened. And now people are digging up clips of like, oh, she quit this other show. Like, 20 minutes into it. You don't quit. Out. You got to keep going. <laughs> Even if the BPM isn't synced, you just do your best, Grimes. I, I, she uh, might be. Try I don't know. And I don't know her, obviously. She might be an idiot. There, <laughs> I love that one song of hers. I, I like that first album. And that and that music video for her, like the motocross yeah. place. Was this a jukebox, a boombox? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. that, I think that first album is pretty good. There was a, uh, did you guys see Conan O'Brien on Hot Ones? Yes. No, this not yet. In. Some of it. I've some seen some clips. It yeah. was great. I love Conan O'Brien, but uh, you know that guy is asking questions, mm -hmm. and he asked one question like, well, you know, you've done a lot, of, you know, interview a lot of people. Like, what is one thing that you should never do? And Conan's like, whenever a guest says this isn't going well, it takes the audience out of it. And he's like, if ever you're, you're doing the thing and they make a joke, and maybe they aren't doing well, but the audience doesn't really know. Yeah, and yeah. if you go, oh God, this isn't going well, is it? The audience, the energy is just boom, sucked they, out of the room. They yeah. respond. They that. respond because they think, "Oh, I'm this. I'm not inter being entertained. Oh, yeah. This is a yeah, mess up." Yeah, yeah. And that is what Grimes did. Grimes yes. told everyone, "This isn't going well," and then it just sucked the air of yeah, Coachella. Yeah, yeah. Yes, like you, totally. you just got to roll with it. It and sucked the air out so bad they didn't clap for Blur. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> But that's specifically, yeah, people in the chat brought it up. That's specifically why when I do a panel in character, I like to start it with, today's not going to go well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This uh, is gonna be it's a not going to be a fun panel today. Yeah, I'll but just tell you off but, the bat. But here's the thing. If you said that and you literally had nothing planned, <laughs> yeah. that's a problem. But yeah. you have it all planned and you start <laughs> yeah, with yeah, that, yeah, yeah, which yeah. makes it funny. Yeah. yeah. I, already, I already have something planned for uh, Power Morphicon. Power Morphicon is going to be this year. So Hell if anybody... Yeah can go to that go because I, I already got something cooking for that <laughs> last, last time i kind of was like i'm not sure i just wanted to go and have fun i didn't have much mm -hmm. of a plan i got a fucking plan this year um back to conan real quick yeah yeah, yeah. uh i want to talk more coachella yeah too. i want to talk yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, now that i've tried to bomb sauce what this fucker did oh my god yeah. i want to see the physical reaction to his he, body that's happening i've yeah. never seen anyone commit to anything harder and it's like conan i mean like it, Again, kudos. Conan <laughs> didn't need good publicity. Everyone loves Conan. Yeah. Everyone's Team Coco, which I mean, I hate that fucking saying, but they oh, are. Yeah, I hated that. But, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I watched this and I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm like yelling at the yeah. TV. Don't, don't lick do your fingers. Oh. oh, fuck. He's just like, this isn't, wait a minute. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. And it's I, on his chin. He starts so drinking like, out of the bottles of the hot I sauce. Know. And like, that bomb? means like everywhere it's touched the on The one his that's face. hotter than the bomb. Oh, Fuck uh, off. And then like it's burning your skin that it comes yeah, in contact. And then he just like keeps like, he's like, I feel alive. And he's just like, <laughs> say all this shit. And he's like, one time he's like, have my first erection in 15 years. Someone call my wife. And it's like, he's just going crazy. Yeah. I think it, I think it puts you like in a legit altered state when food's that hot and spot. It makes you like high. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Well, like, yes. like you're, you're, I think that's the fun of that show is like you're getting reactions and answers to questions that you normally wouldn't get because their defenses like my, are so down because they're dealing with other shit. Yeah, my kids love to watch the hot, hot ones. ones. They do. I've and I've I've seen it. First never, we I feast. I've sat down and watched it before. Yeah, but I've seen people struggle and I've never seen anything like that. That was fucking awesome. Uh, uh, it was uh, dope. Yeah, he was kind of. Amazing. Anyways, but back to Coachella. Yeah. So yeah, as other people were mentioning, yeah, Blur played, which see, is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and see, if it's so funny because when they announced age. Coachella stuff, <laughs> if, when they announced Coachella stuff, this was the most in a long time where I'm like, th there's enough here that I would consider going to this. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't so hard to like, to me, it's all the other shit around it. It's the yeah. getting in and out, camping, or the camp. Yeah, that. But if I could just go and leave. I, I would maybe have considered it because there were so many things I did want to see. Even tonight, Adarashi Gakko is playing in like a couple hours. Oh, wow. I think they're like the closing thing or something on one wow. of the stages. But anyway, uh, Blur. Oh, my God. I would die to see Blur. Holy shit. And then, yeah, they they played there and crowd did not react. 
Uh, but I had been hearing that a lot the last couple, I, I think last year too, I, I heard that about like, yeah, the crowd doesn't really like react to much. Mm, I don't think that's that, that, that at that festival. Not I think that. it is a lot of influencers I, and not oh, a lot of yeah, diehard yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah. And also that, and also that. Blur is a mismatch too. That, that, that yeah. audience and that, you know, demographic, I don't think cares about Blur. Yeah. But then, you know, and then they like, they reunited no doubt. Like, yeah, oh, that's kind of cool. Didn't really react what? to that. No, yeah, yeah, they didn't they, care. I don't know if they're touring, no doubt. If they're, they haven't announced anything, but uh, they're I saying well. would fucking... Tragic hey, Kingdom fucking slaps. Hey, that I, is such a good album. Yeah. I was never... I mean, I, I'd never had anything against them, but it was not in my wheelhouse. You know, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, no doubt. All right, fine. Got, got a little tired kind of hearing about them a little bit, but I didn't hate them, you know. Mm. Um, and in the last few years, every now and then, something will get recommended to me on YouTube. Oh, here's an old performance from them at some college before they kind of blew Maybe up big, and it's yeah. like they're fucking talented they're yeah. good and then read any comment on any of those videos and it is like they're not only super talented but like i helped the, like hi my name is bob i helped them set up this stage uh gwen stefani literally picked up a wrench and helped me tighten all the bolts on the stage uh, when it was over, she hugged me and thanked me so much for setting up the stage. Uh, I helped her put up posters. Uh, another commenter would be like, yeah, I, I helped her Xerox posters. She was involved in that. She, you know what I mean? It's like so people, cool. people who put in the work. Yeah. These weren't just like selected like, oh, oh, some industry guy put them together. They all put in the work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, it was a legit and, band. And everyone is still saying they're still all nice. They're still yeah. cool to them. And uh, and so that led me to l watch more performances. And I'm like, yeah, they, they fucking cook, dude. Yeah. And, and this new performance, they were legit. Like, if they tour, I'm It's going, the original oh, lineup, I'm going right? for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, the, all original people, yeah, yeah. Lennon is so into No Doubt right now. Really? So, so, yeah, so, yeah, oh, that's yeah. awesome. If that's they cool. do tour, I'm taking her. It's yeah, going to yeah. be so... I, can't, I, hope, well, I hope they do. One of their songs that I thought fucking slapped, and then I never heard anyone talk about you know, they, they kind of went away for a little bit in the 90s, and then they came back with a different sound. They started doing the, hey, baby, hey, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had lost it a little bit. Yeah, and some of, that was, some of that was catchy, but that wasn't kind of my thing. It was yeah. more pop music. Than, they got away you know, from Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They yeah. got away from the But roots. that song they did, New, you remember that song? Yeah, you you're so new. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. That song fucking rips, yeah. and they played that at Coachella. Oh, I was very happy shit. about it because that. Oh, that's cool. I don't even think that's like officially on their YouTube channel or something. Oh, really? Like it just fell, kind of fell between record deals or something. Mm. I don't know. It was just it was, a sing. I don't know what it's happened. It's like with when that. a song's on a soundtrack. Yeah, it's like lost. Yeah. Did they yeah, play yeah. a Bathwater? Remember that? Song? They did that. That. Uh, uh, Olivia Rodrigo joined them for that. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, my girls will lose their shit over that. <laughs> oh, right. I show them. Uh, that. But they anyway, fans? they, they yeah. were legit. And and then, yeah, if you were, if you talked to anyone there, they were like, yeah, the crowd didn't really react. Is it because And I heard that young? last year, too. I heard the last, yeah, yeah. the last year that everyone's just kind of like, uh, not that they were at Coachella, but mm -hmm. I remember Jess from CKY, speaking mm -hmm. of Jackass Connection yeah, yeah. here. Uh, I remember Jess from CKY. He's like, you know, a lot of SoCal shows we play, they look at us like they're trying to crack a safe. And I always think about that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, SoCal, yeah. he's like, they're just kind of like, hmm, okay, right. you know. They're judging. Sometimes you go to the East Coast and they're really excited to see you. Oh, you came out here. And some Energy SoCal high, shows, they so. look at you like that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think uh, I'll, so much of Coachella, not to, not to sound like this guy or make it negative, but a lot of Coachella is, look, I went to Coachella. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of totally. like when, when Comic Con Man. hit the peak in like I want to say like 2009, 2010. It was like, look, I'm at Comic Con. Okay, what are you there to see? Oh, I I don't know. I'm at Comic Con. Yeah. I got in. I posted it on my MySpace. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. in. Yeah. I'm here. If yeah. you're, if what are you there for? If you're in LA and you're like an influencer at the top, yeah, or you're yeah. a celebrity who's trying yeah. to be relevant, it's like, yeah, Burning Man, Coachella. Yeah, yeah you have yeah. to be at all the events. Yeah. Yeah. But you're just buried on your phone. I hear, yeah, I hear it's a lot of tech bros too. Someone saying that in the chat. I've heard that as well. It's just a lot of, I just hear it's not a great crowd. I will say, you know, with Coachella, it is cool because you do never know who's going to come out. Mm -hmm. You know, like I think the, all the time the Aquabats played, I think Danny DeVito introduced them. Like yeah. things like that. Yeah, like you yeah, don't, yeah. and I don't know if that was planned or Danny DeVito yeah. was there and said he would do it. Like I don't know yeah, which yeah. one it is. Yeah. But like I do feel like you hear the weird shit. Olivia Rodrigo playing with no doubt. Like yeah. that, where else is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's really cool. You know? um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I was going to say uh, I would have killed to see <gasps> Blur. Oh, what's that? Sorry. That was 
Pretty lame. Kesha did TikTok with Renee Rapp, who is my other girl. The girls fucking love Renee Rapp, so this isn't that a big deal <laughs> for me. Thanks for the update. On Sorry, that. thanks, Meg. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Renee Rapp update. That's yeah. I got. Didn't I'm, she? Wasn't she the one who put too much lipstick on on YouTube and wrote who? those songs about Jesus kids? Christ. Who? Renee Rapp. That's not. I don't know what you're talking Rapp, about. Dude. That's a different person. Yeah. No, she was in the Migos I, I'll, musical. I'll wait, for, I'll wait for Garrett's uh, ukulele apology later. <laughs> <laughs> but any, but anyway, right. uh, no, uh, but that Blur footage, I don't know if you saw the the, the Blur footage. No, no. I, lo- I love Blur. I always uh, have. It was hilarious that he was kind of like, well, so, you might as well sing this the last time you're ever going to yeah, fucking see this. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so you saw that. They yeah, played, he was they giving played, it back. You know that song, Boys Who Like Girls, Who Like yeah, Boys, Who yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Girls. Totally. He's playing that. Who Like Girls. Nothing. Oh. And then he's just standing there and he goes, You're never going to see us again, so you might as well fucking sing along. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was they, fucking he, good. He is done. Oh, that's great. But it kills me because I'm just like, oh, They don't deserve I see it. Them. I hope they play here, but it seems like they only do things well, like Coachella. So now I'm like, It's like they're not going to play I, ever again. Do I go to weekend two of Coachella? Would we you guys go? Them. Come on. Who would, who would join me? Well, um, I, you don't deserve if, him. I wouldn't go. Kevin, you're right. You, no. you, you wouldn't see Paul. Are they playing the I same would. the same lineup again? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, but what if they just ghost it? I'm gonna that, I'm gonna email me. Christian like, hey, I said whoa too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you add Excuse me into the video I for March and Girl? Um, hello. Can we Christian. fix this by next weekend? Um. You may, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Can't wait. Uh, in the chat, nailed it too. Uh, I forgot Gorillas did it last year, and you know that's the same same yeah, guy. Yeah, same same thing, people, yeah. pretty much. And uh, yeah, crowd was dead. I remember hearing the same thing. So he didn't learn his lesson. Yeah. So maybe. Fan. Yeah. So maybe he's all taught. I think it's on him at this point. Did he play song number two? Yeah, they played song they number had, two. They did. They did. They okay. had. Oh, he did a Q and A recently. Cut. Deep cut. He did a Q and A recently because I guess there were <laughs> there were a bunch of wait. They had a concert in Pomona four days ago. Are you fucking joking? Uh, what? Uh, wait, when did that happen? Don't say no, that. Four days ago. No, God damn it. <laughs> DJ Jazzy. I would have killed to be there. Are you joking? Why, why you were probably you already in LA too that day. Yeah, four days ago. Oh you were my probably God. I think there. I probably, you were probably drove past Pomona. You probably drove past At them. the Fox Theater where we oh, saw. Oh, Jack that White. Wednesday. They fucking played there. That's they a, really did. That's a small venue too. That's intimate, dude. Oh, yeah. That would have been like a really cool that's thing like, to see. Oh, telling me I missed Renee Rapp. Oh. <laughs> My God, that sucks! I did not know that. Well, oh. maybe they'll play again next next year. That happened. Oh, they're never they're, they're, never, they're never coming back. Oh, that that's 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 that that's like it. that like I have like nothing else to say. Oh, that that don't say that to him. Guess we're, that's right for the night. Are that's they playing it. anywhere else? Um, Tell me if they're playing anywhere. Let else. me check. Uh, Pomona two days ago. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> there was a double. They feature. played at the Egyptian Theater on a uh, Saturday. When was that? Uh, at, at noon though. At noon. Yeah. They were next door to your theater. Uh, no, no, no. It was after some screening of uh, some movie. I don't know which one. Yeah. Some movie. Jack Butt or something. Jack Butt, yeah. <laughs> after that. And the people who had tickets got to stay for free. <laughs> uh, insubordinate in the chat said, when I saw Gorillaz at Universal, Pharrell opened and nobody seemed to know. That's what happened when I saw Gorillaz the first time in 2010. Yeah, NERD played. It was here in San Diego, and that show did not sell out. Well, and really? I was, I felt like I was one of the hundred people that showed up for the opener. And it was, it's fucking NERD. It's NERD. This yeah. rules. And I'm, I was front row, literally front row up there, a foot from Pharrell. And he's going, yeah, I was just working on some stuff with Daft Punk. Wow. Um, I'm going to play one of the songs they produced for me. Cause it, he, they, they produced a song on his album. Right. He, yeah. he, he worked on fucking get lucky with them. Yeah. And I'm like, no one else cares about this. Anyway. Dang. Now people are saying they're playing uh, the will turn in 15 minutes. Shut up. <laughs> you can make it, dude. You can make it. But what if that's true, though? You'll miss like yeah, that. Yeah. That bums me out so bad. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, well, well, way to bring it down. Next time, I suppose. <laughs> now Rocco feels seasick. This, yeah. is, this is the embarrassment yeah. episode. Now, what, and now I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Well, I think... Most of us saw a movie that hit theaters this Friday. I don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about that? <laughs> Shut up. No, no, I'm done. Johnny, I'm trying to just bring this back from the dead. Johnny, yeah, Garrett, do you have another over. embarrassing uh, story to make me feel better? This, maybe? This, this, is like another going, wrestler. this isn't going well. <laughs> oh, Kevin, that's <laughs> no. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> fade us up, Johnny. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. No, I do want to talk about I do want to talk about the uh, 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 Civil War. The yeah, documentary. Civil War. Yeah. The documentary, documentary Civil War. Dude, you're talking about you talking about uh idiocracy. Yeah. <laughs> that now that that's a think about it. That's a documentary. Think about it. 
it, it, Idiocracy job in a latte. was funny in 2010. And then it came true. But it came now, out in 2006, I think. Yeah, but it got, only got funny in 2010. <laughs> yeah. And now yeah. it's like, <sighs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> They, so. they, there's a thing that filmmakers have where they can predict the future. They can kind of like, yeah, they extrapolate what they think the future is going to be. And then they write a movie about it. And or, then everyone sees that and it actually influences the way the future. What goes. about uh YouTube video? Cause we've done that. You can many do that. times. Yeah. Influence and a lot. Can I be honest with you? Sometimes yeah. the writing's on the wall. And you can see it and go, well, I've seen this before and I'm going to see it again. And it's happening again. Let's make a video about it. And then we look like we're fucking geniuses, but we're just people. Sometimes the videos are evergreen too, like That's play true. date. Yeah. Oh, That's true. quadruple A games. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to bring us down again, but I did. I, did you look up Blur Tour Dates? Because I it saw was, you look it up. It was, uh, yeah, they're playing some other festival on, at the end of the month, and that's it. Did they didn't play Pomona? They played Pomona oh, they April did. 10th, which was Wednesday. I was maybe 10 minutes away from it. Oh, oh no. Rocco. I'm not joking. I, I no. was, I you was already, I was oh. m- yeah, maybe 20 minutes away. Oh. But maybe it sold out a long time ago. You couldn't have gotten tickets anyway. Yeah. Is it I mean, tickets the link on the website doesn't, it's, there's still a ticket link. Like, oh. can you, can you still buy a ticket? Yeah. You should get one now. <laughs> I'm so you bummed should buy out it. about that. That is so, I can't believe I never heard anything. Can you imagine about that. the merch they had too? No, they, oh. I, I can't imagine it's on the website. They're showing it. Is it good? It's all like vintage blur. Oh. oh, they have socks. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I say the chat's right. Buy a ticket now to show them that people are still interested to see them again. <laughs> That's true. It's kind of like you're, you guys are so in demand. They're still buying tickets. You're already you starting a show. <laughs> there are times though, because a lot of times with Coachella, a band will like play in the area again because it's like, well, we're here for two weeks. Might as well yeah. play some shows. You, you keep an eye out. Maybe, maybe you'll be able. Yeah, to... maybe they'll hit up like the Rainbow Room. Do oh, like a secret soda little bar. I'm like sick soda bar. <laughs> yeah, they're coming. I've to wanted Diego. to see them my whole life, and I didn't hear about that. How did that not happen? Well, do you follow them on people, the socials? People tweet me the dumbest shit. Yo, did you see they're playing the uh, fucking uh, yeah. garbage pale kids? You know and, what? Uh, I definitely I don't want to see that shit. Camera on me. This is all your fault. Yeah. yeah. This is all your <laughs> is fault. Like, did you hear about that game developer that uh, that uh, they clo- there's a game studio that just closed and the the CEO put out a statement that was like. Uh, P- someone here talked to the press and leaked info, so I'm closing the whole studio. Like everyone's fired. You you shouldn't have talked. What? <laughs> it was oh, like, oh, you. okay, sorry. Is that certain guy? <laughs> like, who is that? Wow. I don't know who it was. It was just like, oh, gee. Yeah, geez, you don't have to look. Geez. I forget, the, I forget don't the, have the name to of the studio. Look at it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the same card. This is on you guys. You're supposed to tweet me when cool shit happens. How could you not let when him down? lame shit happens? Did anybody in the chat go to the show? Did Ooh. anybody go? I actually don't. Uh, honestly, I feel like I would have heard. Honestly, yeah, of someone that went. If you went, do not say you went. Yeah, say you no, went. No, I, I, I went. actually want to know. Say you went, but say it sucked. Yeah. Don't. Because it make, it, don't. It make it. Oh, they all forward. went, according oh, to the chat. Oh, shit. No. I was, They're there I was, now? I was there and they showed Rocco, but not Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Damn, dude. Well. Yeah. Oh, I love Blur. I, dude, country. Uh, fucking. Lived in a house, a very big house in the country. That's that a that's a deep cut. Like a that's a deep cut. Oh yeah. I don't know if wow. You really are a fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, he is, dude. Cynic, but my heart's not in it. I'm I think that's a Keith Urban it. song. I don't think. Dude, Coachella we get into is 500 bucks right now. Just do a blur. Aquabats, no doubt. All right, you know what? And you could, dude. I hey, yeah. not joking. Yeah, you can see all three. I of those. bet you could probably get backstage to the Aquabats. I bet you could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you know, know Gordon. You're Christian. on the screen. Like Christian, I'll come out. I'll come out in the purple suit, and I'll go whoa. Christian, I'll play the, I'll be uh, Dr. Space Mummy. Yeah. You need a mummy? Beat me I up. Got nice. you. Beat me up with a you broom. Could, I, yeah. you, we know enough people in the Aquabats, you could be like, get me backstage. No. Get me in. I'll be Space Monster M. Yes. Be like, I didn't wear a mask. Let me on stage. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, Rocco, $500. You go. You I got to sell something on eBay to get that amount. But yeah. you know what? We got the 420 stream, which is going to be way better than oh, Coachella. Yeah. Would it be, you would it be have hard to, be to get in? Oh, wait. Is this the same weekend? Same weekend. Yeah, Shit. I think we need How him How bad here. do you need me on the Johnny, we need you, him, right? Can you ima- can, we need him, definitely. Real talk. Can you imagine how fucking annoying the crowd would be on 420 at Coachella? 
I'll, that's a hard pass. No, they'd be chill. That's a hard fucking pass. They'd be real chill. Mm, 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 mm. That's yeah, like may- the Christmas. Maybe it's- if I say I have the, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll bring the Vision Pro. Like, hey, you guys want to try it? Well, I'll do something on stage. I'll do something cool. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the aux cord. I'll hey, I did want to cool. ask. Uh, we always have a podcast question of the week. I did have a question about that. Okay. Legitimately, and you guys can be honest. They updated the Vision Pro headset to yeah. where uh, the, the, the avatars are updated. Oh. Suppo- supposed to be better. Ooh. You know, I showed my cyber version of I, myself. I do. They've changed those and updated them. Should I bring that back on and look at the updated I version? I gotta see the update. Or, but I also am. I also understand there's a risk of like, all right, enough about the Vision Pro. Jesus, I'm done with that. That was months ago, and there's yeah, an update. I'm okay. good for another. Because I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be like, all right, cool. Rocco's bringing that fucking thing no. all the time. You know, people can get tired. Now of I'll stuff. say, I don't if it looks the same, it it's not going to be a very long bit because I'm gonna be like, yeah, just, you can turn it off. Yeah, yeah. but if yeah, I want to see. Okay, but yeah. maybe he's got a new app to show us as well. You know, mm-hmm. definitely. Okay. I say. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Absolutely. What, what games you got? No. You, there's no games on it? They have like, oh, well, you can play Fruit Ninja. I refuse to play. Yeah, I feel I've like never every, devi- that. every device I get, they want me to play Fruit Ninja. Yeah. I'm like, no, I refuse. Can you play like I deny you. Snake with your retinas and stuff like that? And just move around? <laughs> Follow no, I have the a cool art, art app, though, where oh. I can like mold stuff. Oh, that's cool. Uh, dude, oh. I downloaded some app that uh, I was like, oh, what's this? It's got 3D models and stuff you can kind of disassemble. And it grossed me out because they gave me it put a human heart on the oh, fucking table. No and it was thanks. like, yeah. And and then it before and then I'm like, what what do I do? Just touch it. And then I touched it and it was like, this is how you put a stint in your arteries. It's like, I didn't ask to see this shit. Yeah, but my <laughs> fucking doctor. Of me. Yeah, it's like, me no, now? I was just looking for 3D stuff to mess with. Ew. Oh. No, forget that. Yeah. Oh, but don't you want to play Fruit Ninja? I deny you. Stay out of my life. Is there a DJ? You want to play cut the rope? You want to play cut the rope? Is there, uh, you know, Metal Gear Peace Walker is not that fun. Uh, it's actually cut the rope. I was actually better. Okay. Well, I, I'm scared <laughs> to ask this question because I think you're going to make fun of it. But yeah. Can you play Peggle? Because I do love Peggle. You can play the iPad version of Peggle. Yeah. It's just really big. Yeah. It's, not, it's not made for Vision Pro. Yeah. I, don't know. Uh, I will never forget. I, I, there are grudges I will carry to the grave, and I will never forget being at the GDC Awards in like, I want to say 2011, 2012. Yeah. I think 2012. Mm-hmm when it was best portable game and the nominees were Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and like four mobile games yep. and cut the rope cut one. Cut the rope uh, one. Well, but you, you, Over you gotta Peace say Walker. it's very addicting though. I mean, you, you gotta yeah. I mean, you gotta hand it to cut the rope. I'm going, I'm fucking flying home. Are you joking? <laughs> this is a joke. Home. This is a console quality Metal Gear game. Yeah. Are you are you kidding? Kojima's no. in the audience. Directed by Hideo Kojima, and he's sitting right here. Yeah, but did you play Cut the Rope? It's kind of crazy. I mean, you got to hand it to him. <laughs> you know? You got to hand it to him. There's a lot hand, of that. Hand my dick to my ass. I, Whoa. Whoa. I, I, okay. We were listening to uh, Fuckface Unstoppable. Oh. <laughs> that, was a um, lyric, that was a lyric in the song. Uh, the fact that Kojima had to literally polite clap for Cut the Rope is... <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Kind of funny. Well, Civil War. Civil War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Civil War. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you're the only one who didn't see it. You know, the only person in the room hasn't seen this it. This might be a new segment is the movie we all saw but Sean. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is pretty, pretty. It's pretty hard for Sean frequent. to get to the theater. Pretty it's frequent. hard for you to I'm get I'm on there. boats. I have time for a fucking yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. time for that shit. Um, this movie in particular, I'll say before I saw it, annoyed me before yeah. I even saw it. You I was were like, oh, like oh, fuck this. Don't like this. Fuck all of okay. this. Okay. I did want to talk about that. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Civil War, I mean, I think maybe just saying that term conjures up images or something. Mm-hmm. I have never seen a movie that more people have de- have like declared a, a hot take on mm-hmm. without having ever seen it. That's me. I mean, so many people are like, well, you know, something to think about is da 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 Did you see the movie? No. I, okay, yeah, that's not in the movie at all. Oh, well, I didn't say <laughs> I, I've never went to something to think about, so that can't be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I just see people do that. I saw the 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 poster and the, all the stuff, and it's like, America, Civil War. And I thought, yeah, fuck all this. I'm so yeah. tired of this bullshit of America fighting America. I, I no fucking thank you and that yeah. was just me on because yeah. the news sure. and everything oh yeah, 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 if yeah. trump wins this is gonna be a civil war if biden wins it's gonna be a civil war yeah. i don't want to fucking deal with this so that yeah. was my take on it yeah but i've heard it's a good movie so i actually think i kind of think you'd dig it 
Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's even about that. No. It's probably not about that. In in fact, the way the movie goes, I mean, you probably already heard people Mm -hmm. talk about this. It's already, you kind of get dropped into a murky situation. Mm. Oh, Texas has teamed up with California to, as the Western Alliance or whatever they're called, and and they're fighting uh, the the, the president. The president, the government. And it's, uh, and Florida is doing its own thing. And you're, and I feel like they kind of intentionally drop you into a murky thing so that it kind of immediately gets rid of like, oh, it's Democrat versus Republican. It's yeah, this yeah, and that. Because yeah. the movie's kind of not about that. I feel like it's more about, yeah, it's not about humans themselves sure. and us versus each other uh, versus ourselves as opposed yeah. to, you know, oh, it's a commentary on this yeah, side. Yeah, they don't or really delve side. a lot into why they're fighting. Yeah, sure. they really think, don't ever go uh, into really it at all. Yeah. yeah, I think the main like focus of the movie is about war journalism. Yep, is like, mm-hmm. hey, follow yeah. these war photographers and war journalists. Yeah, and see the heinous shit that they're witnessing. Yeah, and it was kind of like follow them on their little adventure. But yeah. even that, I I kind of appreciated that when it was over, we were kind of like. I feel like there were a lot of things it was uh, like respecting about that field and a lot of things that it was like showcasing is like really disgusting about that. Yeah. Yeah. And and I kind of liked that there wasn't an easy key to understanding kind of what they wanted us to take away from it. It I really enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 It kind of did. It had Nightcrawler vibes and it had Children of Men vibes. Oh, shit. I like those movies. Yes. And uh, and I'm not, you know, and. um, you know, I'm not saying it's like an action packed movie or this or that, but that, you know, then every now and then there'd be a scene that is like, uh, that's mm, what I love. Oh, oh, I love it. And super get tense. through this quick, please. <laughs> yeah. This is terrifying. Super tense. Yeah. So, uh, the, the movie yeah, really... having war in the title, it's called Civil War. Yeah, it yeah. actually is a war movie because I love like Full Metal Jacket, Apocalypse Now, Platoon. Like, I love a good war yeah. movie. There's yeah. a ton of, combat in the movie there's yeah, a ton yeah. of gunfights and yes. crazy tense gunfire yes. that is super loud and super like yeah. aggressive in the entire film and that kind of i didn't expect but i really enjoy that because as yeah as a genre i appreciate a good war movie yes. it's like oh it's in the fucking name i didn't yes. expect that but, yeah. it's but man you 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 definitely as you just kind of touched on that movie makes every gunshot count Oh, it's loud. You hear a gunshot in that movie. Ah, 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 ah. You know, it's not happening every 10 seconds. And but they, when it does, yeah. it, you, it's like, <gasps> you know, it, it isn't just some, they're not shooting shit willy nilly. If that ever happens, you are terrified. Yeah. Um, and they make it loud enough. That That's the only thing I would, I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say mark it down, but being the jumpiest person on earth, there, there were more, loud. more gun related jump scares than I would have liked. Uh, so heads up if that kind of thing bothers yeah. you, but um. But I thoroughly enjoyed I really, that movie Jesse a lot. Plemons was great. That, that's oh, yeah, the he's reason, the best. That's the main reason I was like interested yeah. in it because I love Jesse Plemons. It, well, yeah. You talked about a tweet once, Rocco. I think you saw where it was like, if this motherfucker shows up in your oh. movie, shit's about to get good. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, it was. You, it was. Uh, you know, the movie's gonna be good when this MF shows up. Yeah, but it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just Jesse Plemons in a cowboy hat. It's but true. For real. It yeah, gets yeah. fucking he's, good. He's not he in this up. a ton, but it's no. like oh, he was there. He blessed. He blessed the movie. We may continue. Um, but. Uh, I just want to say, I I, uh, I will say on my end, though, I did mess up because I really did not investigate what the movie was about at all. And that was that was actually awesome. Going into a cold was great. But yeah, love that. I had only seen a couple clips. And they were all kind of lighthearted. It was, uh, excuse me, ma'am, you know, there's like a civil war going on. <laughs> I try, we try to stay out. And then it's Jesse Plemons. Huh? kind of american are you <laughs> with the with the glasses on that kind of look goofy yeah so i'm like oh this will probably be a more lighthearted kind of movie <laughs> uh no 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 dude, there's wrong. some visceral yeah footage. Was, that movie starts at, uh, oh, um excuse me where where's the funny <laughs> um <laughs> anyway uh no i but i i so um you know, I we're we're in April, so this doesn't count for much. That's, that's probably my favorite movie I've seen this year. Um, I really like that new Dune a lot, and you know the sci-fi. I, I'm always sci-fi cut, so I'm 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 still kind of ooh, maybe I lean towards that. But I, I think I'm picking this so far because it was so wholly original um, that I was like, hey, yeah, I've never I haven't seen anything like that this year. So uh, that, that that really uh, full endorsement for me. I really liked it. For me, hands down, best movie I've seen so far this year, Ghostbusters. 
Is that the only one? Yeah. No. <laughs> Buzz, Buzz, <laughs> and, we, and we took you to that. Like, Frozen Buzz, I didn't want to go. No. <laughs> yeah. Buzz in the chat said, how quickly we forget Argyle. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I can forget right. that. Uh, did you see it, though? It's on Apple TV Plus right now, and I've just seen it. people being like, it's the worst movie. You should watch it for that I reason. S- that's like the whole like Cats thing. Like, yeah. don't. Like, I heard Cats is terrible. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, I'll watch a terrible movie if it's like legendary terrible. You know, if Sean wants to watch The Room for Movie Club, I'm in. Sure. But yeah, Argyle, I, I just fucking let me, I'll take a nap for two hours. I don't, I, it's not <laughs> worth it to me. I, I, I really liked Civil War, but I watched another movie this weekend at home that was legendarily awful. Oh, okay. And it was the Roadhouse remake with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, oh, oh no, it was not good. Oh my God. Really? Uh, <laughs> You know, like it was just the the original is so good. The we original watched it, we watched it on tour. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was great. Good. The original has heart. You know, they kind of stripped that story and put just the basic elements of it uh, in a. It's not a Texas roadhouse. It's like a Florida beach house. Oh, so totally hmm. different vibe already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No shit kickers coming in to stir up trouble. It's yeah. like a rich dude on a yacht who. I couldn't even tell you the plot. But uh, that boxer shows up as uh, the bad guy. What was his? Uh, oh, uh, Conor, Conor McGregor, McGregor yeah, is like so bad and over the top. And he was like naked all the time too. And whenever there's like a fight scene, they would do this CG bullshit camera move. Like the whole fucking thing looks like a PlayStation game. Oh, no, Just man. guys throwing a punch. Camera's like shua, swooping in and like going weird. Yeah. CG, it looked yeah. ter- it looked like Batman versus Superman in every fight scene. <laughs> is that every fight scene? It was like you don't have it, to do this. It's not in theaters. It's not like Prime or something. Or? It became it, it, we watched it on um, some streaming service that, so that we have. Uh, yeah, it was straight to Amazon. That's what it was. Ooh, I think. Uh, God awful. Just <laughs> that's terrible, rough. I'm terrible. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, Civil War made up for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I really had a good time. I I keep hearing Monkey Man is good. I kind of want to see that. What I is? can't do. I'm so burnt out on the John Wick. Yeah, I know what you theme. mean. I know what you mean because what I, I I hate to say it, whatever, but that was me when I saw that Nobody movie. I love I love Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, same. But I was like, I, the I can't do mm. this kind of thing anymore. I'm like burnt. On I this, am, even though I love Bob. And so yeah, I I do want to. St- I I hear it's really cool, but I'm scared. I'm going to be like. That was like the same with Beekeeper, though, where it's like, oh. oh. <laughs> Beekeeper was fun. Yeah. No, no Ricky Stanicki reveal? I, I liked it. <laughs> I liked Stenicki. Johnny, can Andrew we get a Ricky Stanicki update on what's going on, man? You see it? Um, No, but all I know is he was naked at the Oscars, and that's it. Well, yeah, humiliation uh, ritual. Yeah, that the oh, that Hollywood, was, Hollywood elites. John Cena made. Oh, he had to go through that? They made him yeah. do that. Yeah, they made everyone. Him do that. The adrenochrome drinkers, yeah, they oh. did it. Yeah. Johnny showed me a sick wrestling uh, fight or match where the guy was naked the whole time, but is covering his dick the entire wrestling like, match. Are you talking about Eastern Promises? What no. What are you talking about? It was in this a ring in front of a crowd, and oh, the guy's really? just like covering his junk the whole time, like holding his junk, and it keeps getting like... His hit. ass kicked. Yeah, because he, but he gets on the top rope. Yeah. No. And then like jumps off like you see his butt's everywhere. It's wild. He does <laughs> a naked uh, Stone Cold Stunner. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Damn, was it, you know, hot? This, this sounds like some Portland shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean. That, dude, that, I don't know. They go crazy out there. Uh, each, each of these, each of these, uh, yeah, you know, Eric works over in the Texas district, and yeah. they got their own fucking blood and guts going on. Oh, over there. okay. But okay. in Portland, I feel like it's a different vibe. There's a lot of, yeah. like, uh, it's like a wrestling and drag show at the same time <laughs> going on. Jimmy Shin said this in the chat, and you're totally right. Ricky Snaggy sounds like, what Rocco would say as a joke, trying to remember what a movie is actually called. Yeah. <laughs> you are oh, totally that, right. That is, uh, what Ricky is the Nikki. Uh, Bobo Godobo or it's something. Yeah. Name for totally. A movie. What was that? That is the so worst bad. Name. Dickie Fuck Peeper, that. Halloween Creeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Halloween yeah. Creeper. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, You're totally right. If I had to pick a favorite movie of the whole year already, Love it's only four, four minutes. You know yeah. it. Yeah, you knew it. I knew it. Or I really, I really did like that new Dune, but yeah, again, I feel like. Civil War was a totally original thing. I love that. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Hey. So that's what I'm saying. I think that's it. Not I'm looking forward to, uh, it's not it, one. Um, I'm looking forward to the most this year. All, all other movies clear the lane. Just get me in front of Megalopolis, baby. 
Francis Ford Coppola's oh, self-funded that, movie. That's the one. They played it at CityWalk a couple weeks ago. A lot of the buzz talking about it. This oh, yeah? is movie is unmarketable. There's no really? way to make money from this. Really? But then there's people who went, like the, the head of Beyond Fest got yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah. And he's like, that he's like, don't think of it as good or bad. Okay. He's like, the fact that this guy went, fuck you, I'm making this. It was awesome to see that. But he's like, when they say it's unmarketable, these are the heads of studios going, well, how do we sell this? Mm. I don't know. He's like, yeah, you're not selling a fucking popcorn bucket of this fucking movie. You know, he's like, they, just because it doesn't fit into their business doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. But then there were other people that were like, oh, it, might, it might be bad, though. It may, it may be bad. So, uh, <laughs> but it's probably going to be his last movie. It could be. So I got, I'm, just tell me when I could see it. Tell me when I could see it. Mm -hmm. Rocco's a big American Zetrope head. I guarantee oh, yeah. you I could find a way to make a popcorn bucket for this movie. If you want it, Francis, you want to hit me up? It should be a wine bucket. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make you a popcorn bucket. I, I I'll find a way. I heard that, uh, so they did CinemaCon in LA this week mm. uh, where all the theaters kind of go and see like, okay, what's to come over the next year? Oh, yeah, yeah. And all the movie, you know, a lot of them, they'll debut trailers there. They'll show some clips behind closed doors, stuff like that. Yeah. And one thing that I heard is that they are all, they all showed, oh, we're going to, you know, there is a second Gladiator coming out. crazy. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Uh, there's all these what? new movies coming yeah, out. Yeah, sequel. They're, they, sh they wrapped shooting. Wow. They shot in Italy. And it's uh, the, the same yeah. actor. Ridley Scott yeah. was Scott? like, I had another idea to for do a second one. I think it's about his son. Okay, I think it's about his son. What did um, is it? Joaquin Phoenix or does no, he Russell die? Pro. Did, oh, Joaquin did they both die? I think in I that can't movie. Remember. I, can't I, remember. I haven't seen. I thought they both did. I don't remember. So they fought and then they both died. And then they both I thought, died. I thought. I thought maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're right. But they they have they, uh, uh, Russell Crowe did say in, a, in an interview recently. He's like, I just want to say I'm being asked in every interview if I'm in the new one. Um, in case you didn't finish it, I I am dead. I am dead. <laughs> yeah. I am dead. But did Joaquin uh, make it? Yeah, I, I, can't I, I remember. don't remember. I thought they both died. He might be busy with. Can he uh, sing a fucking song in that interview Joker. or no? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, you're Christ. fussing and you're fighting. Uh, but anyway, the, the no. Men. So they show you know. So they talk about all these movies, but they said all these movies had a fucking popcorn bucket. Mm, that has become like thing. oh, what's the new thing? And literally, I did hear about. I I kept hearing. I have no images. I think one leaked out for an alien one, like because Alien Romulus is yes. a movie that is coming. Really There's Scott a new alien. Produced, yeah. He's producing it, but some other guys. This came out of nowhere. It. I saw the trailer what? in theaters, and oh. I was like, "What?" That was I haven't coolest, seen a trailer. That was the coolest surprise. It's oh. it's uh, airing with like theatrical releases. Now. Oh, I didn't see it. Well, uh, supposedly there's a there's a bucket that clips on that goes on your arm. Like, I think it's the Space alien's hugger? head. And oh. I think your hand goes into it where you, you can kind of, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you puppet it? I think. Okay. But uh, they said there was even a bucket for Gladiator 2. And they're like, oh, you're you're filling the fucking col Coliseum with popcorn. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, oh, this Coliseum. rules. Yeah. But then what this bugged me, and you tell me if I'm being correct here. Sure. I got a couple things I still want to talk about here. I got another thing I want to think I'm going to get you guys fired up on. It oh, minute. great. They are talking about Deadpool 3. Oh, Deadpool 3. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to, you know, okay, whatever. Disney's first R-rated uh, Marvel movie. They're making a big deal out of it. I It kills me because I really want to see. You got Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in the OG suit and yeah. stuff. It's like, I want to see that, but I hate Deadpool. Mm. So what do I do? But they're like, yeah, so we're going to do, we're going to do this. And uh, we're going to have a popcorn bucket that Deadpool designed himself. Oh no. And and they keep talking about how this one's lewd. You thought the Dune one was lewd? This one's going to be really lewd. But I just feel like yeah, it's kind of not fun when it's purposely designed yeah. to, for you to fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like I, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I what's mean, this going to look it's a like? Chimichanga. Or some <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured it's going to be like a unicorn. With enough room for your dick. Yeah. yeah. It's going to it's going to It's going to be tacos. It's gonna be fucking dumb as shit. It's going to be stupid. Yeah. So I don't know. That was that, we'll was, see. that was just the thing. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't get that one. Finally found the popcorn bucket. Rocco doesn't. Don't want. get the Deadpool three one. No. Yeah. Um, but I did want to talk real quick about last thing. I did want to bring up. I did want to say we did the. Uh, it's up now. If you haven't watched it, we put out our Knott's Berry Farm yes. Boysenberry Festival yes. 2024 mm -hmm. video. It's on my personal channel now. 
youtube.com slash Rocco Bodie. Um, it's on there. It's like an hour and 20 something minutes feature length film. Mm, definitely. Uh, you can watch it in 4k IMAX. Whoa. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Do, you know, HDR, you name it. Shot it, way it quality higher shit. quality than the Jackass movie. Eric oh, Badur yeah. is so Not funny in it. I've yeah. heard good things. Eric Badur, hilarious Eric Badur. in it. Well, a lot of people were funny. It sounds like it'd be, <laughs> if you weren't here for the pre-show, it sounds like you're being really mean towards Eric. I right know. Yeah. But if you were here. <laughs> if you were here. You get it. I said that my girls kept telling me how funny Eric is. <laughs> yeah. They love Eric. And I was bummed out they didn't say how funny they I was. already know how funny you are but they don't see yeah. eric that often yeah, yeah. uncle rocco's like boring uncle, to them they get him every yeah, time they come over here yeah yeah he's boring great, that's thanks. what they say <laughs> oh great he's here oh uh, boring no. uncle rocco is what they say yeah, that's what they thanks say. thanks uh but well, yeah star studded yeah. very fast it yeah. was really one everyone can't yeah and on yeah uh, eric flew in and it was like yeah. th is that i wasn't even planning to like keep that a secret but it was like shit I don't think anyone even knows that happened. Well, this will be a fun surprise. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Um, and uh, it was. It was a very pleasant surprise. Everybody came down, and uh, we had such a good time. Um, again, we already talked about it before, how it was such a busy day, but despite all that, very nice-ass day. And uh, watch the video for yourself and see what kind of stuff we got into at the Boysenberry Festival. But I want to talk about one thing that happened and an ongoing thing that we, we had a conversation uh, me and you and Johnny the other day at one moment during it only happened to me once. I don't know if it happened to you guys. So I'm, that's why I want to ask you mm. when I went to go get a bottle of water during um, the boys and Mary festival, it was like, damn, I, I, I've been eating all this crap all day, but I haven't had water. I think I got the, the boys and Mary Tikka masala mm, yeah. and a bottle of water sure. at that one booth, you know, yes. outside. Yeah, yeah. I went there and I got the dreaded comment. Uh oh. You you don't this is it's the thing you don't want to hear uh -oh. when you're getting a bottle of water and a piece of fucking chicken. Okay. okay. Things just gonna ask you a couple questions here. Uh oh, oh I'm sorry, yeah. what? And it asked it was uh do you want to get 15%? 20%? 25%? For a bottle of water. For a bottle a of water. Park? I'm sorry, a uh, theme park? I this has never been asked at a theme park before. Uh, oh. Well, no, no, I don't I don't think. I had to ask I don't know for who gets assistance. This. <laughs> I was oh, like, really? I, I can't, I don't, I, and she's like, just hit other, and then it'll say cancel. Oh. I'm like, oh, thank you. You probably oh, do okay. this all day. Because like, yeah, who's giving them 20% tips? At a, at a theme a park, when they bottle handed bottle me a water. bottle of water, I was like, I, outrageously priced theme that's park. That's never food. happened to me at a theme park. No, like, that was uh, new. You know, it, I mean, you know, you eat at a, like a table service restaurant at Disneyland. Though. You will get you tip there, sure. but, but not just getting a snack at a yeah. thing. You're being waited a on. Cart. There. Yeah, I, that was very weird. So yeah, it makes me feel bad always. Yeah, always. And but here's the thing, though, I never, ever. Get the 15, 20, 25. I never hit those buttons. I always yeah. enter the custom amount. I'll be yeah. $1. Because I don't want to think about that part of it. It's like, sure. hey, sometimes I go well above the sure. suggested amount. Okay. Sometimes I go like, you give me a bottle of water. Mm. And this. It all depends on the situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely always do custom. Always. Yeah. A when, lot of times I go old school and I go no. And then I put there, there's a tip jar and yeah, I, I put sure. actual yeah, cash sure. in oh, there. Yeah, yeah. I do that. When That's I, what when, I do too. When yeah. I pick up like takeout, like if I'm going to see my family, oh, grab grab takeout for yeah. everybody. Um, there's a sushi place we really mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I'll put I'll put a few bucks in the it, thing. Yeah, in the, in the I'm not eating there, but I'll, I, I, I'll, yeah, I yeah. always give them something. Totally. Um, but, but yeah, just grabbing, grabbing water at a theme park. It's I'm like, I don't even water. know. Are, are you getting this? Who's getting this? I don't even, didn't. but they didn't do that everywhere. It was just that one cart I, at PAX. Remember someone said, oh, there's no tip feature for you guys. And it's like for us, yeah. for me. So for a booth, <laughs> yeah, for our booth. Oh so no. This, I want it. So I, this is, you're leading into, you're oh. perfectly setting me up. Oh, how about that? You're setting me, as they said at Chili's, you're setting me up for success. It's almost like we've done this for 17 years together. Go yeah. Ahead. <laughs> uh, no, but I was going to say, so we had the conversation yesterday and then, uh, it, it, what was it? Oh, when we were at the movie, I was, uh, getting snack. I, I went up to get snacks and, you know, I, I picked, I, oh, Johnny wanted a coffee. He's like, I'll get you a coffee. Okay. You know, whatever. I got stuff for a few people and sure. their, their system went down mm, yeah. and I'm, it, it's so funny because Netflix rebuilt the theater, all high tech stuff. Every transaction is just on, it's just five people at the front with iPads. That's it. That is the whole system. And they're all going, yeah, sorry. It's down. Five people staring at iPads, just 
hoping it goes back up. It's like, damn, mm. it's shitty future. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, wow. they're just staring at it. And I'm like, this movie's about to fucking start. Wish I could go. <laughs> Where is it? And I messaged Johnny like, dude, the system has been down this entire time. What's going on? And then Johnny messages me back. Well, I think they wanted to ask you a couple questions. And he sent me the tip prompt. <laughs> the, the tip prompt. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> that was so good. Dick. That was so good. That's so no, good. But anyway, it was funny. But we talked about that in the car. I think you said something like th about this, Johnny, where it's like, you feel like, I don't know how you worded it. Like, it's becoming such a joke now. Yeah, I just said, like, I, I feel like this is the beginning of the end. Like, we're starting to meme on this. And yeah, I yeah. feel like we're seeing a, a change in culture and tipping culture. Yeah, right? But it's kind of interesting because I knew a few, a few years ago, I knew a couple restaurants that we go to mm -hmm. that were start. We talked about this yesterday. We, that, we, that we're starting to like, hey. We're, you know, prices are uh, went up a little bit, but don't tip us. We actually have factored it, it that in. Factored it in, so we they get a chunk. Yeah, of it. yeah. But there's now, a ramen place. I love that. Yeah, that does that. But I've been there since uh -oh. just recently. Yeah, and they weren't doing that anymore. It was like, oh wait, they're, why are they, they're asking for a tip? You brought tips back. Wait, is it? Wait, what happened here? What happened? Yeah. I thought we were. I thought we were making progress. Yeah, yeah. And I do feel like yeah, it has gotten a lot worse. Because if I remember correctly, in Japan, you do not tip. Oh, no, 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 not at all. And which I didn't and know. And that was By like interesting going to a really Japanese style ramen place and they yeah. were doing the same shit. It was like, oh, okay, very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel, I, and I think I, I found that out the hard way. Uh, the first meal I ever had in Japan, we went to some, it was like Korean barbecue, basically. It was like meats on the, you know, whatever. And, uh, and I think someone in our party was really aggressively trying to tip them and they were refusing it or something. Yeah. And then, yeah, later someone was like, yeah, I think you were really insulting them or some, there was something where it was like, oh, I didn't know yeah, we didn't yeah. do that here. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it. It was, I, I wasn't involved, but sure, I, sure. I was witness. I think the um, theme but, park yeah. thing though is like an inch away from like McDonald's doing that. Or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Where oh it's my like, God! You're right. You know, it's like, they don't. I, they don't already. I'm no, actually don't, asking. Don't, they don't, don't already. So. They just no, have the no. donate to Ronald McDonald. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, but that, that's his own thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's his own thing. But um, yeah, I I I because I, I I mean, as someone who used to work in the food industry and relied yeah. very heavily server. on tips. Yeah, yes, you were a yes, server. Yes. When I go to restaurants, I'm very like, yeah, I'm going to tip you because I know this sucks. You get yelled at all day and you stress up yep. on hamburgers and it's yes. terrible. So yeah, definitely. That the the thing we we were at a diner recently for yes. something. Yes. Tip the shit out of that. Oh guy. yeah, because you yeah. were being oh, a super yeah, good. Yeah. That hope they that guy so, has a great day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That guy went above and beyond. <laughs> totally. But, but yeah, just you're handing me a bottle of water. But I it, oh, what yeah. I'm so, like, do you not but like now I'm like, do you not get paid? Are you not getting paid properly if I don't do why am, why is well, this on me? Even when I go to a bar, obviously you tip the bartender. That's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. But yeah. There are times where, yeah, you get a bottle of water there, and it's like, I, it was I already mean, four bucks. You didn't. You didn't yeah. I know that this you didn't. Like you didn't have to mix a drink. Yeah. yeah. I'm just asking for a bottle. Of, you just you. Like yeah. that. That is. Yeah. Do I tip on that? And I usually do because it's feel bad. But like I feel like I shouldn't. But that's a, that's bars, that's an awkward. Grade it, with yeah. bars, <laughs> it's weird because I have a thing. Being that I don't drink, I ask for a club soda. Yeah. Now, if they're a dickhead. They'll charge you three dollars for a fucking club soda, <laughs> even though you're a designated driver. Yeah, right? yeah. Then there's no tip because they're charging sure. me three dollars for a glass. <laughs> yeah. Right? But if they fill up the soda water and then I'm getting my wallet out and they're like, "Don't worry about it, hon." I'm like, yeah. "Okay, here's a one dollar bill jar. now yeah, that goes yeah, in yeah. your tip jar." Yeah, right, that's yeah, how yeah. I rock it at the bar. Yeah. But like being served, being waited on that's at like different. a restaurant, like I always go twenty percent, like yeah. if not more. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. totally. Yeah. The yeah. service is never even like dictating like the, the the lesser one like always the 20 or above yeah i don't know what i my, my mentality is always i don't know what you're going through right now i'm giving, exactly. I'm giving you, you you're you're, you're waiting on me yeah. i'm already uncomfortable in that yeah, situation yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. but uh picking up takeout if there is the tip jar yeah it's a one dollar bill because mm -hmm. it's like okay I'm, I'm i'm already buying like quite expensive takeout food yeah just with the I, fucking cost I'm, of everything right now <laughs> yeah and I'm not being served. I'm not sitting down. There's other people sitting in the waist yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the restaurant. Yeah. But okay, I'm just getting the takeout. And here's a one dollar. I don't do the twenty percent on takeout. Yeah, I, I, I don't necessarily. Yeah, I don't go on percentage with no. that. I, I'm curious. I, actually, I'm asking this because I want to know other pe what people do out there and, and talk what's normal. Because because if I'm doing this wrong, by all means, I want to hear about it. But uh, yeah, when I when I pick up like there's a sushi place I really like. Yeah, I kind of work on a sliding scale of. How uh, independent is this restaurant and how much do I like them? Yeah. These are all like th chart uh, points on the graph. For yeah, me. yeah. There's a Thai place 
hole in the wall Thai place by my house. And I don't know how well they do. Yeah. But it's like a family. I love them. I get the shit out of them when I pick it up. You know, there's other places I go. uh, It's a franchise. Yeah, it's a franchise. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's a couple bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but then like, oh, the sushi place I really like. You know what? I'm going to get a little little more, you know. But I, I don't think percentage. I just think like. You know, I wish everywhere yeah. had the tip jar because like, yeah. you know, taco shop, it's in the drive through. I'm given a dollar if the tip jar yeah, is there. Yeah, yeah. Some taco shops I go through, they don't have it out. And it's like, oh, if you had it there and I'll even go like, hey, here's a tip. You don't have a yeah, tip yeah. jar. You should get a tip jar. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starbucks, same thing. It's going in. Yeah. Uh, but it's weird. Like fast food. They don't allow it. Like Jack in the yeah. Box, McDonald's, Burger King. They mm-hmm. don't have tip jars in their drive through window. Yeah. yeah. Well, so this brings me to a- another question, though, is. Starbucks does it in the drive-thru. Yeah. I, I just don't know what these guys do. I mean, these these baristas at, at Starbucks go through some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, well, I want to help you. At the same time, this is a one of the biggest companies. Why is <laughs> yeah. this on me? In the drive-thru? You're uh, mm. so yeah. I I've I've never seen anything more polarizing than asking about that because I know people like I yeah, do it, a suck, dollar. it sucks, but I always do it. And then I know people are like I hard zero every time. I will never do that. <laughs> Here, mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know. I actually don't you know, know what, what drives think. me crazy is the grocery store thing when you check out the grocery store and it's like, do you want to? You know, there's times where it's like, do you want to donate round to St. Jude's Children's yeah, Hospital? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yes, I do. Or it's like here's a you know one dollar, five dollar, whatever. I I owe yeah, whatever. Yeah. But recently, they just been like ambiguous. Like, do you want to donate to the less fortunate? I'm like, yeah. How, what? Who? Who? That? Who? Mm-hmm. I mean, donate yeah. the less fortunate. Like, what? Give me an organization, like, or yeah, the Special yeah. Olympics or something. Like, oh yeah, I'll donate to that. But like, yeah, just it's so broad. Yeah, people in the ether. Like, who is who yeah, am yeah, I donating yeah. to? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I'm curious. I, I really, I'm not even inflicting <laughs> an opinion here. I actually don't know. I don't. The even, Starbucks. What do one? I do? Yeah, I don't so, know. I think every time that I I don't go to the Starbucks drive through really that much, yeah. but the few times I have where they did ask for the tip, I think I did it, and I think I did the same thing. Like I a used to or something. Yeah. I used to go but, a lot. Yeah, but, but uh, if there's the jar there, it's one dollar. Yeah, because I'm only getting a three or four dollar drink. I'm getting yeah, one yeah. item or maybe a food thing. Or whatever. Yeah. So it's always like if the jar is there, it's a physical one dollar bill because I'm the guy who still carries cash. Yeah. But uh, if it's like, hey, go back into the app and add a tip. No, I, yeah, I don't yeah. Do that. <laughs> Now you're making me work. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Um, I mean, you scanned it and we're done, right? Yeah. But if there's a jar, I always go with with one buck. So this is kind of a dual question is like, yeah, what what's kind of what what do you do with that? What do people out there? I'm curious how they feel about all that. Because I'm also curious if you work there, maybe you're like, yo, yo, we count on that. Like you need to do that. Yeah. But then it, again, the, the setup is just like, why is this on me to, to yeah. decide what to do? I hate that. But uh, let me know what you think. But then also, this is the other bit. And this is why I want to want to loop you in on this. Mm-mm. I did figure out when we were at PAX East, all of, we use, we have like iPads that we do the transactions through and all that stuff. And we set up, you know, stuff we use. I found a way to easily turn it on where it could go (laughs) ask a couple questions. questions. uh And I thought, how funny would that be? Is er, you know every shirt at the Mega City War booth, Kate's just gonna ask you a couple questions. And I thought that's so annoying, but we could all do that. And then occasionally someone would do it. No. <laughs> Dude, can you no. set custom amounts? Like yeah. set 50%, it yeah. 50, yeah, yeah. 80, 90%, and 95%, 100, and a, a 110%. Yes. <laughs> oh, Sean, we're going to be rich. I couldn't. I could not. I couldn't. But I'm saying, that. would it be funny? Yeah, would, <laughs> would it be it funny? Be, I it's like could the Sean not FTs. the amount of like, my body would retract into itself. I had to ask. Can I ask you a few more questions? It's, it's going to ask you a couple ask questions. You a couple questions. <laughs> I could not. And then here's the thing. And this is not, the bit's done here. I feel like if you go into our booth and you're buying our thing, most likely you're a fan. Maybe you saw so, the bunny shirt yeah. and you liked it. Yeah. To have, if you went to the jackass thing, took a picture of Jeff Tremaine, and he said, okay, he's going to ask a couple questions. Bro, you that's would, funny now. You would feel like, <laughs> oh, I don't oh, want to die. I want to tip. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. ha- I guess I have to tip Jeff Tremaine. And I I look up to him. I got to tip him a lot. And you would feel guilty. Oh, and you, totally. I, I, I would never put any of our fans yeah. in that position, <laughs> even though there is a joke. Like, I can't. I think it'd be that. funny to put signs all over the booth that say, 
We're going to ask you a couple questions. Tipping and courage. Transaction. I would stay the fuck away. Remember. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Remember, Johnny works on tips. Those kind of signs. <laughs> if we did something like that, I would want to make like a, a bonus shirt that you could only get if you hit the death you, tip. Oh, and yeah. then you get like. It's like uh, Willy Wonka. Just, and then it's just, I. Megan 64 asked me a couple questions and it's just like the little <laughs> yeah. thing. 2015. And then yeah, if you do that tip, you get the exclusive shirt. You get the, and that's the only way you get it. Yeah. Now we found a way. Now it's actually you, you actually it's not a tip. You just found a bonus way to buy an exclusive shirt. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah. we're on to something. We're on to something. something. But, but anyway, yeah, anyway, I found the feature. I found the feature to do it, and I thought I almost was like at Pax East was like, I should turn this on and not tell. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin or Johnny, like, wait, what? Um, I guess it's gonna ask you a couple. I, get, well, I don't questions. know. I'm just gonna hit no tip for you. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> there you go. That, that is what Kevin would have done. Yeah. Kevin would have said nothing to anybody, and at the end of the day, hey, uh, the thing's asking for tips. Turn yeah, that off. Some, Thanks. Something's fucked up. Turn this off. <laughs> yeah, something's fucked up. Turn it off. <laughs> it would have been no fun at all. Anyway, so question of the week. You know, another question. Yeah, of the week email is, in. Uh, what's your take on the tipping thing at? drive throughs and stuff like that. And how funny would it be if we asked for like a really big tip? And the last question of the week is, uh, here's my Venmo uh, info. So just go <laughs> ahead and give me money. We, we, were, <laughs> we, thing. we were saying we should only do that if we have uh, the iPads on uh, the rotating. Like, oh, the flipper thing? Where you could, oh, yeah, where you could yeah, do that. Because yeah. if you just hand it to them, that's not good. But if it's on the rotating Shh, thing. They have to, yeah, turn that thing around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, oh, anyway. What a world. Wow. But yeah, I, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I've been seeing... Like Johnny was saying, bits about that like every five minutes, and I'm like, I, man, what is going on? Yeah, it it does feel like it's right before. Yeah, it's like maybe something's gonna change. Yeah, with maybe there's gonna be like a cultural shift. Uh, the way I like to think about it is like, man, I'm putting a dollar in the tip jar whenever I see a tip jar. Basically, yeah. if every customer that came through there on this day did that, yeah, they could have a pretty decent split amongst the five people working in the store right now. They could have a pretty decent tip out at the yeah. end of the day like i know not everyone just gives a dollar but man yeah. if everyone just gave one dollar yeah i i will say that after my seasick adventure they did say okay the crew here is all voluntary except for the captain so if you would like to tip the crew it all goes to all of them oh. ever but i was so fucking huh. out of it and yeah. honestly they probably helped me the most but i was like i gotta get this fucking I yeah, get me off yeah, this. yeah sorry i can't even yeah. think about anything else but getting off the fucking there boat. goes the yeah. cheapskate <laughs> yeah, there's, there's uh -huh. a, he took our ginger candy <laughs> <laughs> that land lover um well everyone we don't have any goodies today uh -oh. no. so Not today we have a couple questions to ask you why <laughs> <laughs> what's the reason what's the reason couple questions to ask <laughs> number one rocco misses out on the blur tour and number two I, i'm like sick over that i'm we trying don't not any. to think about that i can't believe they this week's episode should be called for me sean sick from the ocean and rocco sick over the blur concert <laughs> the fans believe. let us down i this am episode. yeah the fans let rocco down <laughs> yeah I, I do have to say i think mega 64 might shut down and it, that's team, on you dude. guys Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where's the street team do better guys do better. Right. Johnny I've had this hair tie in my hand the entire show I think I can hit the camera so if you go to the wide shot I'm gonna see if I can get it to make a cool transition that cool expensive transition. camera you're gonna hit with a metal hair clip fuck no, you TV. missed you didn't hit it. That, that, that wasn't good well just the like final Grimes, embarrassment just, good night just like Grimes talk your way out of it <laughs>